Come on, babe. The stairway to heaven, you and I walk in the road of ecstasy, yeah. taking the love of this world off our shoulder. Uh, the door is wide open. For you, the door is open for me. Hey, 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 oh, here we go. Still in a moment of pleasure, you and I, we're gonna find. Alive. Stop it. Get some help. How many, how many kids do you have? I got six. Four. So how old are your kids? Okay, my oldest, he 10. And then my daughter, she just turned eight. And then I got a four-year, well, a seven-year-old, then a four-year-old, and then a one and a two-year-old. How many men do you have kids by? Five. <laughs> what? Uh, Autumn, I don't want you to get offended, but I'm going to say oh, something. Oh, no. Hell no. Come on, wait. To the no, no, no. Come on, come on. She's six for five. Six piece. Spicy. Six kids. Five baby daddies. Five men. The mushroom, tomato, pickle, kale. I got it all, y'all. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I got some almond, raspberry. Little apple juice. Let's go right. 
I want somebody who's going to cherish me for who I am. But he has to have money. He got to have a good little amount of money that if I stop working, he's capable of taking care of me. What is the amount of money he has to have? What's the lowest? A couple million. A cup. So he has to have at least $2 million. A little more than $2 million for to take care of me. Do you do drugs? <laughs> making us pay for water, you son of a... You're making us pay for grapes? Apples? Things that God gave us for free? What about all our plans? What about me? I guess you didn't give a damn. So the body is what you say normally attracts men. It is. It is this right here. When they see this, they're like, "Ooh, wow, I love that. But I have all of this. I just want to be, you know, hi, not hi. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? This is a special updating report. I got beans and bologna on bread. Ooh. I got beans and bologna on bread. I got beans and bologna on bread. And I'm happy you heard what I said. Yay. We're back now, John. Look. Please come home. I got beans and bologna. From, from right here, I look like sexy wig. Ski! I was born to get cake, move on and switch states. Ooh, wee! Ooh, wee! Hair! Ooh, wee! Ooh, wee! Ooh! All the way up there, you know, finally got a piece of the pie. Moving on up to the east side. Finally got a piece of the pie. You know what I'm talking about? Look at this. All day long, I want to see that. Because we about to go out there and do what they want. They give me my theme music. Give me my theme music. We told you we coming. We told you we coming. You thought we was joking. And guess what? We keep receipts. God bless you, America. Ooh, God is good. It's time! Let's get it on! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Live Sunday, Single by Choices, brought to you by Cart Before the Horse Productions. How you feeling tonight, Mr. Walker? Yes, sir. I am feeling fan-freaking-tastic per usual. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, El Nug Nugs and Le Bonquishas. Welcome to Cart Before the Horse Single by Choices in affiliation with the Bougie Negro Podcast and also, as all you Negroes know, 
in association with ain't no fun once the rabbits got the gun entertainment what's going on with you this very fine sunday in the big name of jesus you hear me how y'all feeling out there it's sunday all right it's not super bowl sunday that's next sunday all right this okay. sunday is freedom so yeah i don't know maybe we'll make some we'll see i'm mm. sure y'all can watch the super bowl and us huh? if not we'll, we might make a time alteration because the super bowl is a holiday yeah that's to be, respected. <laughs> that's to well, be understood so yeah yeah can can single by choices can carpet for the horse compete with the juggernaut that is that the uh super bowl what y'all think yeah, we wasn't going live around this time last year. We were, we didn't start till after the season, and like I said, we'll see, we'll see. That's a thing. I tell you what, yeah, that should be interesting. I take shout out to the craziest, most maleficent, most gracious chat on YouTube, the single by choice and carpet for the host crazies. <laughs> All right, they said Super Bowl gonna be trash. Yeah, oh. but people, people still gonna watch. It's more like a holiday, like I said. People, you know what I mean. What? Who in the Super Bowl? Who we got? Kansas uh, City, the Chiefs, and the Niners. I think, I think it should be a good game. I think yeah. BY trolling us. Huh? Y'all, y'all think what's that little dude name? My son think he that quarterback. Y'all uh, think Mahomes? Y'all think my homie? Huh? Y'all, my homie gonna pull out another one? Root for the young man. Pray for him. I think everybody mm-hmm. mad because of the old Taylor Swift thing. I see a moment ago. Everybody mad about Taylor. We should let that go. That's a lot to be. Y'all mad because, you know, uh, Travis Kelsey don't want to be with B-dubs no more. He oh. with Taylor Swift now. All right. Well, what y'all t- – see, y'all keep y'all keep letting – I shouldn't be the messenger for this. I swear to the Lord because I don't even indulge in social media except for work. And y'all really going to allow this culture to confuse y'all. Y'all, <laughs> Travis Kelsey <laughs> that took the fade. Y'all see that? It was a write-up in New York that they call in the fade, the ball fade, the Travis Kelsey. <laughs> and they mad. They're like, this is Black History Month. That ain't that 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 white man's haircut. <laughs> yeah. We got to relax, everybody. Don't let them gaslight us. That's Too something. late. Too late, I keep telling y'all, melanated folks, we way too predictable. And when you're predictable, you're easily conquered, man. (laughs) And another thing, I don't know if y'all caught it during the intro there. I'll bring it back up. To get cake, move on and switch states. Ooh, wee! Ooh, wee! So this is Kendra. Kendra got the new bentley remember oh, that new rolls royce i'm sorry it's a yeah, rolls royce that rolls royce spectra what y'all got to say now y'all was on kendra y'all said oh y'all crazy they said look at kendra look at, look at they look at saying rental <laughs> they said look at kendra with that old 2013 baby blue bentley now what we got to say i'm gonna give y'all a little tip listen as far as karma and stuff it's best to cheer for people when they're doing good. Don't be hating. Look at that sister in that Rolls Royce. Clap for that sister. Well, yeah, kids are out here. She- I ain't got no time to play. <laughs> I'm just going to make their goddamn money and keep it moving. You hear me? Just stack, just stack, just stack, just stack, and stack, and stack. You hear me? Oh, now here we go. Let's talk about being generous. I'm on this one. So Kendra had her little Bentley. She got her new man coming her life. They they then worked it out. They said we serious, we real serious. Uh, uh, her bank went and said, you know what, Kendra, I don't like that old Bentley. Let me upgrade you. Spend a couple of extra something something and bring you up to date. Now we talk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Shout out to Kendra. I was born to get cake, move on and switch states. Ooh wee, ooh wee. All the way up there, you know, finally got a piece of the pie. Moving on up to the east side. Finally got a piece of the pie. You know what I'm talking about? Look at this. <laughs> Shout out to Kendra. Like I say, ain't no hate over here. 
Shout out to the sister. There we go. There we go. That's dope. They said men don't care about her car. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, y'all wouldn't want y'all lady riding in the Rolls Royce. I think that's super dope, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a damn about no car. Shout out to the most ruthless and not me ruthless <laughs> chat. They say the hell with that. I'm telling y'all, it's a gift. Cheer for other people. If y'all just so happen to be riding down the street and y'all nice thing, would y'all want people mean mugging y'all or being being nice? Like, hey, good good job, person. Way to kick life in the gonads and do good. Just, just off of that, just off the human experience, life be life. I'm like, oh, you didn't, you didn't uh, accomplish these things. Good for you, you a hole, but good for you. <laughs> That's all. Shout out to Kendra. So here we go. We got a cash app here. Money, 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 money. money. Shout out to Brandon. Come through with the five dollars. Says coming through, wishing Happy Black History Month. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, <shakalaka. laughs> there we go. <laughs> Shout out to Brandon. All right, we got a full show lined up for y'all. We're gonna cook tonight. Uh, shout out to El Paulino with the super sticker. We appreciate you, El Paulino. I see El Paulino was live in the fic last night. We didn't even get to that. Speaking <laughs> of last night, if you missed the Regal Rumble last night, Mr. Walker, oh. it's crazy. We didn't really wrap up to about 4 a.m. I'm sitting there like, I wake up the next morning, like, oh, I forgot that happened. I forgot we talked about that. Oh, I forgot she said. <laughs> I can't even recall. It was seven hours of pure mayhem. Dusto came through. I mean, Dusto came through with smoke, pure dust. About time. <laughs> Dusto called to be all quiet. Dust had his mic yesterday and was full of the smoke. And him and Crystal was taking a quite a beat. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Dust. Yeah, he and after it was all said and done. He went and the band jumped on him. So that wasn't, it was what it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what got the good old salute. That is right. Did a little, he did a little bit of mediocre uh, camp bashing, egregious, you know, but you'll have it. <laughs> yeah. Unacceptable over here, Dusto. All right. Shout out to D's Nuts. Come through to $2. Says passing the plate. Salute the single by choice nation. Appreciate, Appreciate you, brother. Uh, Frederick Howard says, "Baby hairs equal forehead mustache, straight like that." Straight like that, straight like that, straight like that, straight. Forehead mustache. Now I ain't gonna get to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Like we said, the links in the chat for the Carpet for the Horse channel. If you are not subscribed, take a second, go over and subscribe. During the week, a uh, shout out to Gunmetal guy, I believe it was. He's in the chat. Like said, he he said you gotta like, watch it in segments. Uh, uh, somebody somebody else is like, man, it takes me to Thursday to get through these sometimes. He said, I can't watch them all at once. Too triggering. Uh, and I say, be a man. lot. Rabbit holes, potholes, valleys, twist turns, and all that. Yeah, we go everywhere. We'd be going everywhere. We take trips to Egypt, you know, the Grand Canyon up in Maine. We'd be all over the place. So here we go. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I see Divine Photos. I see Trey, Rashina saying hit the like button per usual. Come mm -hmm. on, folks. We down. And we got a mean drop tonight. Y'all don't want us to pull it out. Y'all going to be annoyed. Right. <laughs> they begging for it. We didn't listen here. We then became like uh, coddling parents. You know, we keep telling y'all we go. We threaten y'all and then we don't do it. You know, <laughs> we threaten y'all and then we <laughs> No, tonight's official um, <laughs> violence tonight. There you go. Shout out it's to Trey. Y'all get y'all getting spanked tonight. Not beat. Shout out to <laughs> Dusto. Y'all get y'all y'all might like getting spanked. Let me stop. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, listen. Just hit the like button. That's all Please. I got. Please hit all the right. like button. <laughs> Shout out to Richai Media. Shout out to Larry in the house. I see my guy Project Leroy. All right. How you feeling, brother? The match mm -hmm. hunter. We're gonna get into it. Um Coleman Technology come through. Says at work singing water, grapes, apples. Yeah. Boom, -laka -laka. <laughs> apples? USOB. <laughs> <laughs> also, Sal Bill says Dusto is a bitter baby mama. Shout out to Dusto. My first time seeing Dusto, I think he's over on Fight Club or something. 
I became a fan at the tree. Just be trolling, annoying everybody. <laughs> and here's the deal: it's lost on me that Dusto has a channel, I believe. So I gotta go check him out. So for all the trolling he do, Dusto probably be over there uh, talking crap. So I gotta uh, go check Dusto's channel ooh. out because he probably ooh. takes down chore like most people. He probably that's what he that might be part of his strategy. I don't know. There we go. Uh, I have to come over there, rename my. Uh, self, uh, dust 2.0. I'm <laughs> coming, yeah. Let's see what they're still doing with some of this content. <laughs> I'm interested now, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, but here we go. Shout out to the chat. We're getting into it. I see Kendra, Kendra's at the Grammys this week, so that's what you see in here. That's Grammy, uh, Kendra. Here we go. New dress, Grammys, new hair, new Rolls Royce. Don't be mad, get glad, <laughs> don't hate. The player hate the mother loving gizzing. I see she was on BT Hip Hop Squares or whatever. She's doing her thing out there, so and she should. And she should. My whole thing with Kendra, I know there are some pretty hardcore, you know, uh, Kevin Samuels followers. Glory to the Godfather and Kendra. Her early career has said some stuff. You know what it is, but we hear it now. You know, we grow, we mature. And y'all know our sisters don't don't uh, apologize. It ain't going to happen. They just move on like it never happened. And they may pay homage in other ways. But shout out to Kendra and her success. Glory. And at the very same time, time is undefeated. So <laughs> let time, let time, listen, Kendra is not exempt from time. So let's just all sit back. Yep. That's why we I don't stress. It in the future at a future date. There you go. That's why Mr. Walker don't stress about stuff like this. Time is always going to be the determining factor. Just give it 5, 10, 15 years. We're going to check back in. And uh, I would hate to be telling y'all I told you so, but I will. <laughs> That's all. So right now we had a fork in the road, and we'll see where it goes from here. In the meantime, we're going to get right into it. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Here we go, folks. See, I'm in Bay Cooper, Washington. Okay, what city are you um in Portland, Oregon? Latisha, 37. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work at a grocery store. Oh, you do work at a grocery store. You have any children? I have two. How are your kids? Um, 17 and 15. I'm raising two more, though. I'm raising my nieces. Okay, so you, have, okay, so you raise four kids, but two are biologically yours. Uh, two are bi uh, biologically mine, and... Um, and then I'm raising two of my nieces, okay. all girls. All right. Two things is true. If this was Dr. Phil or something, mm -hmm. that would be honorable. Yes, yes, sir. The dating market. As far as the dating market is concerned, you have four children. Probably yes. about four men. <laughs> it all depends on what she asking for. I feel y'all. Y'all silence is deafening. She ain't say nothing. She ain't saying no. She said she taking care of four kids. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's see. Two, so, um, by the same man. Um, no, different dads. Different dads. Have you been married? No. No. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. I'm so nervous, Kendra. You're so nervous. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Right, let's do it. We got Letitia, Portland, Oregon. Letitia. Huh? Letitia. I'm sorry. sorry. Letitia, the camera's so close. Okay. Can you move back a little bit? Uh, okay. Okay. Letitia, Portland, Oregon. Two kids, 17 and 15, by for men, 37, cancer. Works at the grocery store. What kind of man you looking for, boo? Uh, um, <laughs> I'm looking for somebody patient understanding um somebody who is um gentle spoken but firm okay does he have to look a certain way um no i prefer african-american men okay african-american men should he make no before we get there what about deal breakers uh somebody who uh, uh lies and don't hold accountability for themselves um somebody who isn't loyal and um somebody who's like 
a hot head. Okay. So she say real quick, accountability. We talk. We was talking a lot last night about bottom line, obesity. A man coming into this situation, there is no accountability. He's looking at you, and it is what it is. But you, I mean, come on. That part. And listen, please take notes. We're gonna get through this insecurity and these and these uh, gluttony demons. We getting real twenty twenty four. Like Gav said, uh, any man using this common sense, you see this sister, you say, you say, okay, I see you big. Y'all in the chat say her chin got chins. And that that is that's lack that itself is lack of accountability, lack of discipline. And anytime these big sisters cover talking about, oh, I need my next man to be understanding and sympathetic, and, and he got to be soft spoken but firm. I don't even know what that soft spoken but firm. She's and she's sitting here trying to tell you how to deal with her, her insecurities. She's like, the insecurity is gonna come. I'm going to ask you to do this dress, make me look fat. I'm going to have all this stuff going on. I ain't going to let you go to the corner store, you know, wearing your good outfits because I'm insecure. She letting you know what you're getting into. And got to be patient and understanding because it's four kids in this house. Yeah, all that. And she blowed out. Be most patient. <laughs> there we go. Um, Now, we already did looks. Um, What about money? Are you going to make a certain amount of money? Um, as long as you can uh, manage yourself and... um. You know, take care of his, if he have kids, he could take, he, he could take care of his kids and he could take care of his kids and manage himself, um, his lifestyle and all that. And also could at least provide if he have a, um, if he, if he has a woman in his life. So. Okay. Provide you want to pay all the bills? Huh? You want him to pay all the bills? Um, mostly yes, but you know, I, I would like to help out one every once in a while if that's the case what? you know okay so. mostly you pay the bills but every now and then she gonna help out um we could go 50 50 i guess i would say okay she'll go 50 50. Yeah. there you go that a girl and then you're still off base but i'm glad kendra said she sometimes i'm glad because y'all the more that's why you got two ears and one mouth most they spend more time talking and they don't hear themselves Kendra said, you want a man come in here, pay all the bills? She heard it, and she said, oh, you right. Fitty, fitty. This is why we talk about these echo chambers that the majority sisters be engulfed in. This is to be amongst her, her wide back friends, and she going to say stuff like that. Yeah, girl, my next man, I ain't taking no more uh mildo mildo feet nug nugs the next man come in gotta be a provider and they're like i know girl that's right as they busting down on fried chicken i know girl that's right the next ninja he gotta pay for everything and that's the echo chamber and a, just a little bit of questioning from kendra are you sure she's like you know what that did sound wild <laughs> considering my circle says i take 50 50 and as gav said you're still off base still yet <laughs> so here we go Shout out to Divine Photos. Says she looks and sounds hungry and out of breath too. Yeah, you know what it is. Love that chicken from Popeyes. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Love that chicken from Popeyes. Y'all, y'all let them do that to y'all. Y'all really let them make that tune, and y'all, y'all be singing and going buying biscuits and chicken sandwiches. That's fine. That's fine. Here we go. Also, we got a cash app. From the mask man come through says bada b what do you say okay bada i don't know <laughs> we got by the bing bada boom <laughs> some 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 okay but eat but eat but eat that's all folks okay oh. <laughs> that was a lot dear man come on now i went y'all need to start sitting in i can't wait youtube holy hell you listening youtube you listening? I don't even want to say it because I'm I'm wanting to, I want some bread. Well, come on, document it. Come on, document it. Right. Poor, poor man's documentation. Let's get it. What you got? <laughs> YouTube needs to start allowing y'all to create um, voice text super chats. Ooh, man! Can you imagine Don Jeter on the other end one of these Saturdays? With that voice chat, man, Don Jeter have us demonetized and don't have. 
<laughs> yeah, so so instead of divine photos coming through, y'all can actually have a voice behind it, and we can just uh, have the super chat up, but allow y'all to play y'all voice behind it. That would be hilarious. That would be awesome. It's coming. They gonna steal it. Can we get some you bread? Too. I need all we need is one percent dividends. All right, that's one. it. We we ain't asking for much. One percent. That's all. And come on now, work with us now. Come on now. <laughs> Document it. Here we go. <laughs> also, hit the like button, folks. Here we go. I'm take it back a second. <laughs> Come on, Bone Fisher. What you <laughs> Hold on, let me set this up. Okay. Oh, hopefully don't fall. Okay. All right, All right we see you, boo. See that booty girl. <laughs> the last relationship, baby. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I missed it. Miss what? Hold, hold on. Let's take this back a second. Hold on. I guess I would stay. Okay, she'll go 50-50. Yeah. All right, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay, Kendra. <laughs> Hold on, let me set this up. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, hopefully don't fall. Okay. Oh. All right, we see you, boo. All right. Here we are. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Again. Why do we keep having these? Q, help us out, Q. Why do we keep having these conversations? Because it's way too many of our sisters. That's right, Larry. Diabetes is in the building. They don't know that that is pending doom. That ain't it. That is not it. Here's the thing. And I love these sisters. Like, oh, well, it's big sisters over in Africa and this, this big and this and that. Yeah, they big from eating straight organic food. It's a whole different kind of deal at best. Nevertheless, th this ain't Africa. <laughs> this ain't Africa, and y'all ain't living in no huts. Y'all ain't doing none of that. This ain't that. Y'all too daggone big. And then she started off by twisting her lips, talking about a man supposed to come in and pay all the bills. Kendra corrected her, but deep down in her spirit, mm. that's why we tell men don't even go into this situation because you will never be respected and honored. She said what she said. Yes, and she can't respect and honor you. She too insecure. What you what you gonna do if you present yourself, your best self to her? She gonna be insecure. We see the the skits and the stuff where the boyfriend or whatever try to leave the house to go to the store, and she's like, "Where you going? Looking like that?" And she only worked because she knows she blowed out, and that's what you gonna get. We we giving y'all some updates. You, you get into this, there is no happily ever after. Her insecurity is gonna destroy the the uh, the relationship. Then you got women out there that would be like, well, some men like a little bit of stomach. They, Y'all need to stop. Don't say some men. All right? Tell a particular man. We know who he is. That's not a little bit of stomach. You can't listen here. We're going to stop. <laughs> it, that ain't a little bit. Every time she go to the doctor, every time she go to her physician, he say, Bonquisha, it would be best if you would walk a little more, eat a little less. You know, push, push real hard away from the table like you're bitch pressing. <laughs> push away. We gotta, we gotta get Doctor. What is that, Doctor Oz? We gotta get a Doctor Oz drop. My man, Doctor. Uh, no, Doctor Now. <laughs> oh, Doctor Now, Doctor <laughs> Now. Go. Yeah, we gonna get Doctor Now here from Bonquisha. That's like my man. <laughs> <laughs> what would he tell Bonquisha right now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just told you. He was like, push away. You you need to exercise. Don't eat so much. High low calorie high protein diet. Walk. Can you walk? If you can walk, walk. <laughs> and as as my guy said, a big old booty, and everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. Point to her booty. Point to which one? <laughs> uh, Too so big. It's a joke. It's funny and it's hilarious because these sisters walk around like this and they like, oh, it, I'm sick. I'm so sassy. 
I'm so beautiful and don't nobody say stop. <laughs> Get some help. And then, and seriously, we all in our, most of us, we in our 30s, my generation, about 40. And we passing away. Serious moment here. We are passing away from obesity, hypertension, uh, heart disease, all of these things due to terrible diet and lack of exercise. Way too often. I'm tired of seeing my classmates pass away because they didn't get blowed out. That's crazy. And it is, it ain't the men. Real talk. So <laughs> if you're blowed out, back big, get her, Mucho. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? Bitch, you can't do shit like that. Unbig your back. Unbig your back, bitch. Unbig your back. Ow. Unbig your back, bitch. Um <laughs> Shout out to Mucho. <laughs> yeah, Shane. Bring back Shane. Shout out to Dusto. <laughs> Shane works. Yeah, don't shame your baby, you know, but you an adult. You a grown woman and a grown man. Shane. Shame helped me. I thank God for Shane. Be shamed for being less than. So here we go. We got some cash apps here. Shout out to Max, man. He come back through with a 30 ball in the cash app. And he says, this is to support for the um, voice chat, super um, super chat fund. <laughs> the voice, yeah, there you go. They, See that they got it on the phone. They definitely got it on the phone or on, on uh, Facebook. Jihanda's, Jihanda's crazy stuff sent me one talking mess. So I know that but. Yeah, you definitely could send them on the phone and stuff, but YouTube, get on it. Also, uh, Mass Man come back says, <laughs> Was her front her back? Or huh. that part, that's why I said, Point to her, point to her hyena. <laughs> hey, yeah, shout out to somebody in the chat say, Yeah, spandex. The span this spandex is a crime. These leggings, uh, see what I'm saying? They done turned <laughs> funky, they done went from desirable, you know, like edible arrangements. Now they like you know liver and onions, you know. Like these sisters is bold. This is not this is not what body positivity and confidence. This is pure delusion. That is wonky. I done been out and about and seen, you know what I'm saying? Uh these ladies laughing at bone questions like that. They, yeah, they, I'm telling you, you, get brutal out there. This ain't this is not normal, it's not healthy, it's not okay. This is counterproductive to everything. It's so, I'm going to keep giving y'all. It's selfish. It's ignorant. It's evil. So here we go. Also, shout out to Mick. Mick come through in the cash app just showing his support. Um, I see we got some super chats. Uh, Blue Collar Jim come through, says, I thought the front was the booty. <laughs> y'all owe her bad. <laughs> let me let me spin her around. Wow. <laughs> All right. Y'all talking about that. All right. It's a lot of mass. Tony come through with the two Canadian. He says, which ass is the front ass and which ass is the back? Tony, uh, if she attack you, you got to you got to engage her like, like a man. Go ahead and think it's a game and you bend up sleep. And Bone Queen should call me standing over top of you, beating her chest. Like, that's not, that shouldn't be a reality. And Divine Photos come says when Kendra said we can see your booty I was wondering which one front or back here's my thing here's my thing take a second a lot of men like a nice we everybody like when the fat forward light right so your girl now imagine if she got two of them what's better than two booties two up uh, one booty two booties right that's what I was thinking nug nug gonna utilize both of them booties yeah listen here both of them butts getting glazed <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a glaze extravaganza with this one here. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I don't know. Think about it. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Reezy. Says that ain't the oatmeal pie. That's a moon pie. Yeah. That the double stacker moon pie. Don't ask me how I use. I used to love moon pies. The double stacker boy. Like it's built like a Big Mac. It's got a wafer <laughs> in the middle too. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> 
And shout out to the roulette rider says, didn't know Purdue livestock be on the control. See what I'm saying? See, that's cold. Mm. That's cold. That's cold. <laughs> and shout out to Project Leroy. As Mr. Walker would say, blowed out. God, nice. All the way blowed out. What you gonna do? Here we go. See that booty girl. Um it's been like over 10 years. 10 years, okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone? About eight years ago. Eight years. Yeah. Okay. What are three flaws you have to work on? Um, being persistent. Um, I uh, so I say uh, not overthinking so much, and um, um, another one I had it all together, but my mind is all over the place. Um, Told y'all overthinking isn't secure. And just be, uh, I say. Uh, I would say for me, I would say work on more self-love. Self-love, okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I am a nurturer. I'm, I'm patient, um, but I won't take your bullshit. Um, <laughs> I, want, I might let it slide a couple of times, but you know, but I'm very patient, I'm loving, I'm caring. I'm goofy when I, once I get to know you. Um, um I, I would try to I will I'm drama free. Oh my god. That was her sales pitch. Why would a man be lucky to be with you? Man, do do you feel lucky? <laughs> do you feel lucky? <laughs> what she say? She says she a nurturer, she patient and, and... She patient. Uh, crap. Her her uh things she need to fix about herself. And I told y'all, please take note. I'm not lying to y'all. She said, I'm an overthinker. Again, overthinking is cold for insecure. She going to overthink. Huh? Who that called you? Who that text you? Where you going? Who you been with? <laughs> oh, overthinking. You're welcome. Helping y'all figure your bone quiche out. There we go. Make sure I see it. You're drama free. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I don't like the drama. I'll turn the other way. I'll watch so fast. I run away from it. So oh. you ain't running from nothing. You shut your lying nigga lips up. You see that? Run. <laughs> see that? See? See the cap? Uh, uh I don't play that. I leave. I will run. Like she's so desirable. Oh, if you ain't doing what I say, I'll just take all my belongings and leave, and you're gonna be left in the cold, all sad and lonely. Bone Quisha, you ain't applying no kind of pressure. Yeah, run. Apples. Huh. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Run. Making us pay for water, you son of a. You're making us pay for grapes. Apples. Things that God gave us for free. <laughs> no brick, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I think you're 37. I'm 37, so I would say 10 years. 10 years. Okay. 10 to 8 years. Okay. Does he have to be in Oregon, Portland, Oregon? Um, the, the surroundings, um, Washington, Portland. Um, I'm willing to travel if he's nice and we get to know each other, you know. Okay. All right, girlfriend. How can he reach out to you, boo? Thank you. Um, I am on um, Facebook, Letitia Johnson. One more time. Facebook, Letitia Johnson, and my pictures on there. Facebook, Letitia Johnson, your pictures on there. Yeah, I was so excited. Oh my gosh! <laughs> How can you excited? Do these women? Serious question, man. Are they really before they hit that button? They're like, I'm really about to go up here and find a man. Uh, that I desire. <laughs> All right, so that's what you, <laughs> listen, oh my, I like what I agree. That's <laughs> God dang it. What do they be thinking? Like, what's they living situation and circumstance where they're like, this is as good as it gets. Like, this is excitement to you. This is a good thing, huh? Letitia Johnson. She got her. She got a very melanated name. Cool. <laughs> 
Letitia Johnson. Golly. Mm. I'm trying to tell y'all something. Shout out to Crystal. We ain't too far removed from the plantation. And I, and I don't care what y'all say. It's still kind of showing a little bit. I don't care. It's in y'all DNA. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Y'all can say what y'all want. You, but like Gab say, give it a couple years. Y'all keep playing around. You're going to end up back there, you know, <laughs> with overseers and all that. Sharecropping. That's all. It ain't going to be so romanticized, but mm. you ain't even going to know what's going on. It's just going to mm. be going on. <laughs> yeah. Like, Mr. Mr. Johnson, good. He, you know, he gave us bread, milk, eggs. You know, we tend to the land. He don't do us, he don't mean us no harm. <laughs> he give us Sundays off. Yeah, he renewed my King James pamphlet at least half, uh, twice a year. Yeah. All that. But this woman here, she came up here playing a joking folks over the hills, through the woods. <laughs> yeah. It's over. All the way over. <laughs> She ain't had her, none of her cheeks clapped the front nor the back in eight <laughs> years. That says a lot. Like, I know we we get on these sisters for coming up here and, you know, being too loose with the cheeks, but eight years? Yeah, Lee. It's a long time. Like, eight years and you an adult. Like, how you do it even work? What's going on? <laughs> Seriously. So, here we go. We're going to keep the show moving. Um, shout out to Coleman Technology. Says she uses a CPAP at night. <laughs> there you go. We, I mean, we said that before. Somebody's like, You ain't got to be big to use CPAP. <laughs> <sighs> uh. <laughs> See, and that's and shout out to the what about isms. Y'all know what we mean. She needs CPAP because her breathing is constricted due to high cholesterol. That's all, like you see. I was know what we <laughs> yeah, we had the one lady up here at the time where she got, you know, the braces or whatever, and she said it was to help her breathe, you know, and two things is true. I see a lot of people was like, she ain't lying. Well, I said, she ain't lying, but she also 300 pounds. So, the hell. Like, thank you, man. <laughs> what is that? They do not ever want to address the raging elephant in the room. They're like, don't worry about him. He just tearing shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Richard Media. How you feeling tonight? It says 345 in the bill and 169 lights. Oh, I think I think it's becoming a contest now, Mr. X. I'm serious. I think they're like, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Come on, folks. Take a second. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Ignan. Jay Reezy, we have over 300 watching. Hit the like button. It's egregious, y'all. Y'all see a super chat. Come on now. <laughs> Leon King's Road. Says, yeah, need that pork chop and old chunky drop. Huh? Pork chops and chunky. Where Leon been? Been seeing his robe all the time. Ain't seen Leon in days. Yeah, go hey robe. Go and get your handler. Go ahead, robe. What you do with him? How do we talk to this robe? Is this like a hound? Huh? <laughs> do your robe bite? That's a real you question, know? man. We've been seeing Leon's. I ain't seen Leon in a week. I'm not gonna dress your robe like a human. I won't do it. <laughs> Show yourself, Leon. All right. Shout out to my guy Q. He come through with the $5. Says body positivity convinced them that the dating market was share in the reality she created. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Blame Lizzo for this. Y'all don't y'all did not realize in a moment the the harm and destruction Lizzo was doing when she was going up in the, on the in the world everywhere showing a booty butt naked <laughs> big obese and completely nude <laughs> and i say y'all don't see what she's doing ain't no other sister gonna be shamed to do it and here we are so here we go it's bad <laughs> we'll keep it moving i'm gonna try to catch this next time stamp this video up hit the like button if y'all just coming in um before we do anything because it's egregious y'all know it is where we at 198. Come on now. We need to have at least 275. So yeah, where we at? Well, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. 
Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Here we go. <laughs> I didn't realize how wild that behavior was in the urban churches growing up in the churches so much until I started explaining it to Gavin because Gavin didn't grow up in the church and I would explain to Gavin and he'd be like that's some crazy shit <laughs> and I'd be like yeah a little bit <laughs> and shout out to these nuts who sent us that drop in the email my man, these nasty roles. TD Jakes up to just a hollering, just hollering. <laughs> come on, hit the like button. I think I'm about to drop him again now. We got, it, come on now, hit the like button, folks. Because y'all ain't leave. They ain't leave out the room. Y'all still here. Why not mm -hmm. just hit the like button? <laughs> Ignorant, cold hearted. <laughs> That's all right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here's, my, <laughs> here's my thing like is <sighs> i don't know i want to get i want to go out rabbit holes but it's, it's <laughs> it's, 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 a little bit i see y'all i see y'all i see y'all y'all starting to a little bit come on i know y'all can do it i don't want to have to drop that again y'all please <laughs> i want is that is this what jesus had in mind when he thought of the church it's like I'm dead serious. Like ninjas up there just screaming and hollering and parading and putting on shows. That's it's a show. It's you know, for lack of a better term, it's a circus. <laughs> if they're hollering, shouting, and here's my thing: it ain't like they're about to leave that that building and go out and wholeheartedly act and carry on like the followers of Christ that they claim to be. They not y'all know what they're gonna do. They get ready. They got it's Sunday, so they they complaining and cursing about tomorrow. They're gonna try to get drunk before Monday come. And that's the, it's the hip it's the raging hypocrisy for me. And that is all. So come on, folks. We are gonna get back into the show. All right. Shout out to Frederick Howard. Says, "Have you ever been swallowed?" <laughs> swallowed. <laughs> Here we go. Gonna get into it. All right. Keep an eye on these likes. Y'all gotta. Come on, we're still missing 100 likes. That's like real talk, 100. <laughs> After all that, we're still missing 100 likes, y'all. <laughs> so, Is it tough? Figure? Maybe they're watching on their TV like you say, Mr. X. They, yeah, so maybe 100 of them watching on their TV? They can't hit the like they button? They still can. Take your remote, go up. You can still hit the like button on your TV. Just get your remote. They can't find it. Kids broke it. I know they broke mine. <laughs> How you get the show on then? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Here we go. How old are you? 23. 20, 23. What's your zodiac? I know. Don't, don't, don't do too much in the comments. I know you I'm young. young. I know. You young, girl. You, you young. You, you too young for this. You're not too young for the show because you got to be 21. But, you know. You, you in that age. You at that age where you should still have a lot of options out there in the streets. You know what I'm saying? You got options in the streets? <laughs> you can say I, that. How are you going to attract the men at the club tonight? I'm not going to attract men. What, what you going for? I'm going to have 
<laughs> my I know, but then you're going to be having fun, and then some dude going to come over and be like, hey, how you doing? Can I buy you a drink? See, and and that's See? There it is. See? But I'm going with my you, friends. I'm going to just have some friends. You can't, you, can't, you can't be in a relationship with your friends. Okay? A nice, if a nice gentleman look like he got his stuff together, look clean, well put together, offer mm -hmm. to buy you a drink, don't tell him no just because you're with your friends. You're right. You you're out. Right. That's true. And you're 23. Okay. But all right, what's your zodiac sign? So, yeah, Mr. Walker, real quick. <laughs> are y'all women going out? We said it a while back. The B dubs, y'all go out too much. Y'all drink too much alcohol. Nobody talks about it, but a lot of y'all are alcoholics on the low. There you go. Because it's accepted in y'all culture. And the toxic things accepted in today's dating culture. Uh ample amounts of, of uh fire water, alcohol, uh popping pills turn into zombies and 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 nasty. Disease infested casual hunching. I love it. Yeah, because she like I ain't going out to meet a man. I'm going out with my single friends. Mm -hmm. We just going to have fun like we do every weekend. Hmm. That's my thing. You can't have fun every weekend. And we're being liberal because a lot of y'all go out four or five days a week. Man. But let's talk just talk to it. the weekend, the weekend warriors. Y'all can't do it. We get it, birthdays, you know, maybe a holiday or so. Y'all can't go out every weekend, especially when you got children. Come on now. I want to say that these sisters like this, they go out like this. Y'all going into, they go to these clubs and bars like it ain't what it is, like it ain't a battlefield of hormones and meats. And that's why the brother said, you know, you in there, some man going to approach you, what you going to say? She's like, oh, no. That's cap, because if the guy she likes approaches her and she all wound up, huh, ovulating, and she all roused up, that's how these oops babies be coming, because you going into the battle zone and you ain't got no plan of action. you just like, I'm just like with my friends. Ain't no guys going to approach me. It ain't going to happen. Then oops, <laughs> oopsie daisies, single mommy. Yeah, that's when the worst decisions are made at the bar. When you ain't got no intentions, you better have real. That's what I'm saying. So you can say, you know what? If I am going to meet a man, he's going to be this kind of man. And it ain't going to be at no bar or club. See, that's like Mr. Walker said. That's when I wonder what medium man at. I wonder if there's a statistic where the most bastard children, what's the foundation of it? I bet you the bars in the club. Yes. The meet up. I mean, yeah, ain't no man nor woman going to the club or bar looking to find a wife or husband. That's how I'm going to see what's out here. Where the 304s at? Where the ninjas at? Y'all seen Pound Town Show. Do y'all know what the what the vibes is? And yeah, ain't no relationships coming out of this. And, and here's why. Men and women would be cautious to say, you know what? We the men at the bar. We clash meets. Same night. I like, you know, we like each other, but we met at the bar. So now y'all all cooped up and y'all came by. Oh, you know, I actually like you. Because the other party like, oh, it ain't even like that. Just relax. Get out your feelings. And that's why y'all keep playing. So y'all end up meeting at these bars and think y'all found love and y'all can't even express it. Because y'all, because of the culture, they're going to say, get out your feelings. Oh, you caught feelings? <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to these nuts. He says they're going to learn today. Hit the like button, folks. <laughs> and Frederick Howard says that's a power bottom yell. Oh, Frederick. <laughs> and Richard Media come through to $5 says, Mr. Walker, quite a few preachers and pastors are and were former stage performers who did not get a big record contract to be a star. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I just can't respect it. I just can't. And BY said they go to the club just to smoke hookahs and drink. <laughs> Hookah bay. Money, 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 money. Shout out to Damon in the building with the five dollars. He says marriage will be boring to her. And women whose norm was going out weekly, marriage has little to no chance anymore. Yeah, they shouldn't even be some people need not utter marriage. Uh, We're about to get to that. That's about to be a new thing. Mm. Like, don't even let it roll off your tongue, don't even speak of it. There you go. Yeah. Huh. Let's do it. Yeah. Marriage ain't for nobody that's fond of the club and nightlife scene. 
that is really I, listen when i first got married i had to learn you out there just partying with your buddies nothing but nevertheless that's it's a de- war it's a battle zone people are there for one reason all right they dare to find matches for their meets yeah and if you find of that marriage ain't it I, yeah me and you know me and my wife we ain't never been fond of going out to no clubs it ain't never been our things as individuals so when we came together wasn't really no issue not too much <laughs> so here we go hit the like button if you're just coming in folks um i am aquarius i was born on the cusp but aquarius. i'm aquarius just be lying you got any kids <laughs> God, i one. got one one kid yeah how does your child Two. She's two. Well, uh, you just had them. Uh, why? Why? She. You said she's two. I'm saying you just had her. Um. Yeah. Why you not with the father of this child? Uh. <laughs> um. It just wasn't working out, and um. It was really toxic, and it was during COVID. It was COVID. Y'all still toxic a little bit. Was it compatible. Y'all still toxic. You know, y'all got a two-year-old, you know. I don't want that. <laughs> okay. I don't talk about okay. that. Okay. All right. There it is. What you do for a living? Um, I'm an Amazon driver. Hey, do you got one of the new trucks? Have you seen the new trucks? The new- oh, yeah. yeah, I drive Move your, I think your hand might be on the speaker a little bit. Um, I'm sorry. The, the vehicles, yeah, I, I know. The I new Amazon them. trucks. Them nice. Them are really nice. They are. They are. Oh, really? I saw one of that. I hate people that order from Amazon though, because there'd be so many packages. Well, you know what you hey, that's your job. You know what I'm saying? You know what you got yourself into. Yeah. So this is Amazon Shawty. <laughs> got a small got a got a young nugglet as well. Mm-hmm. Amazon. Oh, uh, y'all out here jumping in out this truck. Then seeing y'all, somebody one of them hit my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> As, like, you, like you said, you take the kid away, no, no big deal. She only was 22, 23 granted. Uh, you got this small two year old from this man. Oh, I'll talk to him. I don't, I don't like him. Same old story, but you got this child. I was up here talking and assuming she was childless because she's fairly young, but she got a whole two year old by toxic nug nug. And here she and here they go up here talking less than about the guy they gave their most precious commodity to. I don't talk to him. He toxic. Yeah, cause y'all was off the Casamigos and Reggie when y'all clashed meets, and yeah, y'all don't even know each other. You don't even know his middle name. <laughs> and shout out to Tony come through says, fellas, we taking bets in the chat. We putting ones in the chat if we think she blowed out. What do you think, Mr. X, Mr. Walker? She swallowed up. Oh, yeah. Y'all see that? Yeah. Head and neck. Yeah. Y'all, no see collarbone. y'all see no collarbone in sight. Yeah. Y'all, y'all see the, the fluff, the fluffiness. Y'all see it. Come on, man. Yeah. I seen yeah. all the ones. Where's, you know what, though? Gavin called it out. Sometimes these just be straight up uh, pie faces, but we're going to see. <laughs> yeah. But she giving us some shoulder now. So now we can catch that collarbone profile, and then that screwed her up right there. <laughs> so if it was just headshot shoddy, like headshot shoddy, she know how to work that angle to the point where, you know what I mean? This is headshot shoddy. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't getting too much shoulder. Uh, then, oh, hey. You know? And then we like, oh, yeah, she blowed out. We can tell. Yeah, definitely catching that shoulder. Yeah. We're going to see. <laughs> Shout out to Snuggles. Come through, says an example of a culture that supports marriage. An example? Shoot. You know, seem like every other one, but ours. You know, Snuggles be trolling. I learned that. (laughs) Snuggles come back, says, why you all insult each other? (laughs) Snuggles a troll. We appreciate the support. Snuggles (laughs) is a real troll. So. That's fine. <laughs> we bring back shame, Snuggles. Shame. <laughs> Don't be so sensitive. It's 2024. You do y'all do realize you can't afford to be sensitive in this day and age. Y'all crazy. Yeah. If you're sensitive, stay off the net. If you're scared, go to church and get swallowed. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have you have you ever been married? No. All right. So 
let's get it. This is uh, Shamara. Am I saying it right? Okay. Yeah. Shamara mm -hmm. from Rochester, New York. She's 23 and an Aquarius, one two year old daughter. Uh, what type of man you looking for? Someone who is established. I feel like a lot of the guys here are not established in their. Just not established. I just want somebody to establish, know what they want. Um, not really with games, you know, like that. Establish and know what they want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does he have to look a certain way? I prefer dark skinned men. <laughs> okay. I prefer dark skin. Like tall dark skin. Tall dark dark skin. Okay, that sounds like everybody every woman. All right. Yeah, pretty much. Um do, do they have to make a certain amount of money? As long as you can take care of yourself and uh you know occasionally like take me out i make my own money so and i make pretty good money doing what i'm doing so as long as they have their own money and their own you know okay cool. there it is um what are your deal breakers um men that lie men that cheat um and men that use females for money or to gain something do somebody do people be trying to take advantage of you or something yeah, a lot of guys, especially in this city, are kind of like broke. So, damn. I mean, it's you gotta understand it's tax season too, ladies, because y'all gotta watch watch yourself. No, the men that you attract, Bonquisha, because mm -hmm. you blowed out with a small child. You ain't break. These men are broke. Men trying to take. How somebody taking advantage of you? You got a two year old kid and you work at Amazon. No. What the, What are they extracting? No. No, no, it ain't her. You tripping. We keep getting it wrong. It's these all the dudes that just so happen to come in her vicinity just broken dusty. Ain't got nothing to do with her. Huh? Ain't got nothing to do with her. You know, poop don't attract flies because it stank. Flies just come. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. So, like I said, a lot of y'all women got to do some real self-reflection. Like mm. I said, shout out to my girl Lamb and some of these women come up here. They say that these men don't, you know, approach them. They don't have these stories. You know, if you was moving a certain way and applying a certain pressure, yes, you will be attracting differently. Yes, done and done. But they can't accept that. They got to keep saying, well, they kind of use whataboutism because they ain't about, this is an Amazon truck backing up right now. <laughs> I hate that day of sound. But <laughs> they they use whataboutisms because they not about to lose no weight. They not is Bone Quisha pulling up on me? I swear it's an Amazon truck. Right outside my door. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hit the like button. We still down the hundo, folks. Here we go. You got um, kids. Yeah, tax exactly. I'm getting a good amount of taxes back. Y'all not going to take it and try to flip. You it. need to let you know. That's what they <laughs> do. All right, what's your deal breaking? I just don't did. <laughs> what age range you going to date? Uh, twenty. Five to All right, here's the only thing about that. Because you asked for somebody established earlier, and me and that age ain't established yet. Oh, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you talk you talking about somebody 25, they're not they're not necessarily established yet. You know, they're still trying to figure it out. So, and you're 23. You know what I'm saying? I would suggest you yeah. try to find somebody you can build with. Oh no, no, Zach. We do not suggest that. She either A, she got a couple options. Go get back with your baby daddy, if possible. All right, go buy a dog and and wait till your kid start aging out because you're still young. Your kid will be out the house before you're 40 if you play it right. <laughs> so you can wait till that. Or uh, maybe older. You're 23. You can start looking like 60, 55. There you go. Six, yeah, 55. I'm buying that and and make a deal. Yeah. Pour on the, the softness and femininity and, and take every damn that dude got. Yeah, go ahead, sister. You better learn the way the OG gatekeepers did. They knew how to do it. They knew what was up. Wasn't that for free. <laughs> oh, there we go. Shout out to Ash Rogers. He says... It just didn't work out. Same ridiculous answer from all these women. Mm -hmm. uh, that just part. Group depart. One compatible. Next. Uh -huh. 
Shout out to Snuggles. What you got, Snuggles? I just asked a question, and you... I told you about that. You could say, I am here. I am not the one who gets insulted easily. The fact that you've seen to say the question. Snuggles, I don't know what you're talking about. Thanks for the super chat, Snuggles. Shout out to Derek, the legend games. My guy just joined the channel membership. Mr. App, uh, Apples and Aces himself, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Appreciate you, brother. Also, Brian C. Come Through says, thanks for going back to the OG format. Them goofy bras were intolerable. So We're talking about our, we our Friday, talking about our Friday's ladies night. Yeah, that's a new installment. Let them or the Regal Rumble, or either no. or, like you said, this is, this is the show. This is Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. All right? Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday is me and Mr. Walker. Outside of that, I mean, that is that is the normal format. So if you up here any other day than that, then that ain't the day that this show is live. <laughs> so you want to catch us Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. That's when we live. There you go. That part. Here we go. Like, so I don't want to deal with nobody. Well, the guys around my age, I feel like they're just not kind of ready for that, which is fine. I'm just more mature for my age. So I kind of just, you know. Or are you going after the wrong dudes? Really? It could be that. You know what I'm <laughs> I could fit that. This one, it could be me. I think, I think, ladies, your options is in your DMs. Them the ones that, them, those are the guys that like you. Get somebody who like you and make it work. You know. Yeah. Um, what, would you date long distance? Yeah. You would? would? Yeah. All right. Let's do the Kendrick cam for real this time. I don't know what you did last time. That wasn't it. Oh, Lord. They're so mean in the comments. Jesus. Y'all be nice in the comments. Okay. I ain't saying nothing mean. I'm a little chunky, though. Not too much. <laughs> I'm going to just set it up some more. Oh. 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 Whoa. Come on, now. Yeah. Spill it, up. Spill it over. Go ahead. <laughs> Now listen, yeah. sweetheart, sweetheart, I'm gonna tell you something right now. If you got if you gotta hold your outfit together, you don't need to have it on. That's because I'm on live. I'm scared. If you gonna wear it and you and you can't be on live, like I mean, I know it's people on live, but it's gonna be people where you at going to. You don't wanna be the girl in the club that's covering up herself the whole time. Oh, I won't. I won't. It's just like 1.9k people in here. <laughs> so I got a little scared. All right, let's see. Let's see what you're doing. Let's see what you got on. This what you wearing tonight? Yeah. All right, let's see. I don't think we're gonna see it. I'm trying to set the camera somewhere, but okay. I got there, but it's a it's just a little. Jump. All right, give us a spin. A spin. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. We ain't even about to play. <laughs> Holy hell. You need to eat me out. Hi. I'm out here in Miami. Hey. Looking for the hoochie daddy. Huh? Why the niggas that get ratchet? Huh? My son need a new baby. I got too many bitches. Where the niggas at? Huh? I'm trying to get my coochie stretched. Yeah. I'm trying to get my coochie stretched. Yeah. You know the J.H. Yeah. I like a nigga with a check. Yeah. Here's, pound pound. Pound pound. Here's what this I see. It's it's insane. Here we go. Let's let's rewind this back here. Remember, this sister says she's going to the club or bar just to hang out with her friends. That's it. She ain't worried about no dude, none of that. At the very same time, every ounce of mass she got is, is spilling out. Poking out every hole and orifice of that dress shirt, mm. cat suit get up. She 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 knew this is in this. Like she just sitting there. She's gonna be in the bar club all day doing this, trying to cover up, spill it, it's just spilling out. What's those weeping holes? <laughs> just, <laughs> up, just stuff spilling out. And she, yeah, and it's it, like a pack of biscuits. It's like busting open a pack of biscuits, just poof. You like ah. Insecurity, don't do it. Don't do it. I swear for Lord, y'all need to stop. See, men, you know what? Men know 
even little boys. I remember taking we I took my son to the little pool party, indoor pool party this week. And the little chunky boys, they wear a shirt. They 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 hey, call it what you want. They like, I ain't let my gut hang out. Even little boys know. Cause even at a young age, they like, hey, you gotta know that ain't the boo. But the ladies, they like, you gonna eat this. Like it's a whole thing. They they wear that belly out on purpose. It's it's like a sign of rebellion. They're like, I know I'm bowed out. Eat this. Eat this blowed outness. <laughs> and a woman like this, like I said, they go to the club and they in there. And if a man hit on them, they're like, why are you hitting on me? Why y'all looking at me? Why y'all objectifying me? Why is all this going on? You ain't got you ain't got the bra on. You ain't got you come like Zach said. If you gotta walk out there, if you gotta, she like it's only because I'm on live and there's four thousand people watching. Zach said, wherever you going, it's gonna be people watching you. Hmm. Staring. They're gonna be taking pictures. You go make your way to the internet. Somebody gonna catch that shot of you. They can see your your bra and panties. That's facts. You're goofy huh. with it. And oh, don't talk to me. Why y'all objectifying me? Your cheeks, your flat cheeks is hanging out. There we go. All right. Not too much. I know I'm a little big. Man. Okay, that's all right. Now, sturdy. What? Sturdy. What was that? You're nice. You're a sturdy one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. There it is. Um, you don't have to answer this. When last time you was intimate with somebody? I don't want to answer that. Okay. You don't have to. You don't have to. Um, what would you, what would you say your top three flaws are uh, when it comes to a relationship? Um, I think I have. I'm not. I, I don't be the problem. Well, I don't know. I don't think I have any flaws. Um, I'm probably just a little too controlling. Okay. Everybody got flaws. Okay. Yeah. All right. Why do you think you're single then? I don't know. I just, I just don't want to settle for anything less. Okay. And why, why would somebody? What, what do you think settling is? Let's... Um, just someone that don't have their life together. And I know that a lot of people don't have their life together, but I feel like I'm pretty established at my age, so. I just, I don't want to settle for someone that, like, doesn't have a job. You a 23-year-old baby mama. How in the hell are you established? And and the one woman come up here. It's normal to have two kids in high school. Y'all see what is, y'all see where the culture is going. It's normal to have two kids in high school. And if you only get one kid by 23, you doing good and you established. Established. I got to look that up because I'm tired of us using words. And and they just been just wrong. Established to me, established means you know you <laughs> shit. You established everything. Your foundation is sturdy, not just your body. Everything, finances, lifestyle, structure, everything is sturdy. And I'm sorry that I'm not sorry, but being a single parent, a single mom, ain't nothing stable and sturdy about that. Or what established? No, no. To me, established. To me, see, I got established. You got to be at least go at least six months without working, and I end up homeless. Talking about you established. You know, you 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 can't be living check the checks and I'm established. We got to put some parameters on these words. Like I'm I'm established. Yeah, <laughs> miss a check, and then let's see how you established. So here we go. Shout out to Snuggles. Uh, my apologies for the typos. No problem, Snuggles. All right. Shout out to South Bill. Says, blowed it out. Oh, God, no. Completely <laughs> blowed it out. Man. Shout out to Coleman Technology. Says, Kiki Palmer needs slap for this madness. Man. Oh, she got on that Kiki. You go, girl. You go. Her, Lizzo, all of them. So. Uh -huh. Shout out to Goddess Bella. Says, the elephant. Peace, love, and health to everyone. <laughs> Capitalized health, baby. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and shout out to Divine Photos. Says she don't have good friends at all. No nope. women would lie to each other's face knowing her homegirl goes out looking bad. Oh, can we touch on this? Yeah, her friends need to say something. I remember going out with one of my buddies, me and my compadres. And one of our buddies showed up. 
and he was wearing all black. But none of the blacks matched, and it was embarrassing. He had lint all on him. And instead of, like, just let him go out and make a bad, you know, look bad for himself, we said, no, let's, we got the brother together. And there you go. That's better. But this sister said, they ain't going to say, look, girl, let's go ahead and join, throw you a jogging suit. All right, take take off that, that uh, lingerie. They ain't going to do it. They say, come on, girl, you set serious hell. <laughs> that part. And shout out to my girl, Lamb, in the building. Lamb. Lamb, come through the five dollars. She says, "What did I just walk in on? Does this young lady work at working at Magic City on a Wednesday morning?" Oh, not uh, the Lamb, <laughs> not Magic City Wednesday mornings. Oh, that sounds slow. <laughs> That's Sugar Daddy time. That's her best hour. She can't compete with the with the real three or fours out there. She got to go when grandpa and them in there and they ha they still drunk. You know what I mean? Yeah, that part. <laughs> Not a bad idea, man. So shout out <laughs> to Blessing says this should be against the law. Mm. I agree. Now, Angie, I see your comment. <laughs> and shout out to Divine Photo says she established by having EBT WIC Section 8. Ooh, that part. My apologies. You right. There you go. There we go. I forgot about the stimulus. Doesn't have a car, doesn't have a place of their own. I don't want to settle for that. Okay, that's fair. All right. Why would somebody be lucky to be with you? Um, I have a really nice personality and I'm very easy to talk to. Um from everybody I know they sound easy to talk to. So well, you gonna love me here. Okay. You're gonna love me here. Okay. There well, it is. There it is. How how you want people to reach out to you? Uh Facebook. 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 Okay, what's give them your Facebook now? Uh, Shamara OG S H A M A R A O G. All right, Shamara OG. All right, now have, have, a, have a good Bye. time tonight. All right, turn up. Thank you. Right. Bye, guys. Turn. Up. That's her. Um, mm. twenty three. Yeah, Junior Band seemed about appropriate at this yeah. moment, just because of her age. And she should count this as a blessing because it's not trending well. Huh. We, this is when we get, listen here. Y'all can say what y'all want about Miss X and Mr. Walker, but this is love. Uh, the, the small band, we saying it's, it's hope for you, sister. It's hope. You're young, but you blowed out. We know you're trending terribly. Never I really ain't saying it's hope. I'm looking forward <laughs> to coming. Yeah, my thing is she's so young. You know, I'm looking forward to you coming back. You know, three for three, so I can throw you in the sub. God. Don't disappoint. Yo, so you can, who you gonna you gonna don't disappoint me, Bonquisha. Oh, Gav, Gav, like one of the uh, one of the police officers that they catch, you know, a little petty criminal, and let them keep going back out to to rack up offenses to give them a uh, longer time. I see that ain't right. So <laughs> that part. So for now, you and your band. <laughs> It's true though. It's true. It, that's why I said it. it's not trending well. It's not. I'm, I'm gonna stop being so uh hopeful for y'all. Cause I don't want to, I don't like saying I told you so, but y'all gonna make me do it. <laughs> and shout out to skinny boy. Money, 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 money. He money. come through the five dollars. He says, All right, fellas, we got grocery bag and double booty pay or players club Pukisha. Ooh, that grocery bagger, she was that was a big sister. Uh, Nug Nug got a better shot. Did the grocery bagger, did she have a kid? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Nug Nug losing. <laughs> How about that for next? <laughs> <laughs> that part. So here we go. We're going to keep the show moving. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. All skips are 40. We cooking, folks. Hey, what you want me to call you? Courtney, what, what you want me to call you? Um, come on in. Preferred. Okay, come on. Where you calling from? Um, Castro Valley, California. What? what California, Castro Valley. I ain't never heard of that. Yeah. Okay. It's a little town. It's near, like, I guess Hayward would be a main city that it's near. Who famous from there? Uh, shoot. 
Me at this point, I can't think of anybody. It's, it's chill over here. It's super chill over okay, here. Okay, Castrovelli. <laughs> okay. Kamani, she's from Castrovelli, California. How old are you? Uh, say that again. I'm sorry. How old are you? I'm 29. Okay, she's 29. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Capricorn. Uh, what, uh, December or January? I'm a January. Okay, there it is. You got any kids? I, I have two. Two kids? What's the ages? Um, my son is, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> my son is 12 and then my daughter's six. Okay, how many baby dads? What was that? How many baby fathers? Um, two. two. For two? Yeah. Two. Why are you not with either one of them? Um, so my son's dad, he was my high school sweetheart. It lasted for about, it was long term, like five years. It, it was like young love and then hop, skip and jump. I used to be married. So I planned my daughter so that they wouldn't be far apart, but it, we were just incompatible. We're so cool. So good friends just didn't work out. Oh, so you were married. How, how long were you married? Five years. Five years. It just didn't work out. Yeah. Did just he, incompatibility. Did he remarry? What Did was he that? Remarry? Um, no. Okay, yeah. Y'all both still single? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good question. So she she two for two out here. Um she was married. She she kind of hit on like she a single mom by choice. Like I <laughs> planned my second <laughs> kid. She didn't say nothing about the man, the husband. She said nope. I planned the kid. Mm -hmm. I planned the kid. We talked about this last night at the Regal Rumble. The degree of selfishness. Like, I planned the kid, brought this little human into this world, and it, it is what I say it is. <laughs> I, I can't ever ride that crazy train, man. Yeah, I don't look at the kids as belonging to us. These are little humans. They got to figure this out at some point. Act accordingly. Don't be so damn selfish and just start planning stuff. Without no rhyme, no reason. He was married. Man. <laughs> Shout out to Tony. Said, did I do that? <laughs> Steve Urkel glasses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go, Bonquish. Mm -mm -mm. All right. There it is. Well, what type of man are you looking for today? I wouldn't say I'm necessarily looking, but I'm very open-minded. Um, I guess I would say someone who's emotionally intelligent. Um someone who's ready to settle down because from where i'm at in the bay it's not like everybody's kind of with the hookup phase and friends with benefits and i kind of been on a mature level ever since even when i was younger so it's kind of hard to find someone that good with communication i would say emotionally intelligent like i said and just stable like in every aspect mentally financially because that's where i'm at right now so you looking for a simple, you looking for a simp. I'm looking for these men don't want to date, they just want to hook up. You done got two kids by two men, you done been married. I can't go keep saying this. Some of y'all need to get out the dating market, just get out the way. And it, it needs to be a whole nother lane for side pieces, you know, for side piece women, and also, you know, for the men who don't want to be married. Mm -hmm. Let the men, you know, deal with these women. She looking, she looking for that struggling. A uh, dancing artist off that old movie Showgirls, the brother with the dreads. <laughs> That's what she looking for. Yeah, she gonna find herself uh, cooped up in some some industrial apartment, you know, going over fake choreographed dance moves. <laughs> Ain't buying it. See what I'm saying? If this was some single, you know, little desperado hyena out in Cali, granted. Granted, but no, you got you done bought two kids into the fold talking about marriage and compatibility. So that's why I say no rhyme, no reason. I see you either a desperado or you're not. We we ex-wife desperados with two kids. It's a little wonky to me, man. Uh -huh. Ooh, <laughs> okay. How many piercings do you have? <laughs> I have uh both sides of my nose are pierced, it's pierced, and then I have the, the lip. And then just my ears. I, I have more tattoos. You got a lot of tattoos. <laughs> um, well, well, so far I have five, but I'm working on the sleeve. So, okay. Hey, they're telling you that you need to sit still. Like you moving a lot. 
You kind of got to be still. Yeah. Okay, let me get in my car here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my, my daughter's in here. No, no, there we go. go back out there. Just stay still. Oh, okay. the lighting? The lighting's better out there. Okay, okay. One second. Okay. Hey, well, you just leave, you just leaving the baby in the car? Ain't nobody in the car? What? what? So the baby in the car? How old is the baby yeah. in the car? No, my son is in the car as well. Oh, okay. They're just, right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, you stay out there. And still two small kids. This is that selfish, irresponsible. How the father feel? If you're the father right now, you're like, that's my kid in the back seat. She out here looking for a man. You in bumfuck Colorado or California somewhere. Come on now. We know all the crazy, you know, trafficking, all that kind of crazy stuff going on. Come on. You say, oh, it can't happen. And you got a, was it a six-year-old and a 12-year-old? You saying the 12-year-old holding it down. My son, husband in there. Just observe. Observe. That's all we saying. Take note and let's do better moving forward. I can't. I can't. And yeah, and shout out to Zach. He, he, yeah, he coming with the pushback. It's kind of unsettling. He's like, why you leave kids in that car? You better be careful, Zach, before you get cursed out up here on Beyonce's internet. <laughs> so here we go. I see my guy Sag, oh boy. All right. Holy hell, Sag will have spoken. <laughs> we moving on. <laughs> <laughs> they come through with the honey ball says Gav respectfully request to move to the next. Yes, sir. Most indubitably. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Shout out to Saggle 1000. Come through. You are the sponsor of the show right now. Um, they, they, ask, yeah, they, they begging. They begging for the Kendrick Camp, Saggle. You want to let them see the Kendrick Camp? <laughs> oh, ain't nothing there. Shout out to Tony. He says, I guess the VA couldn't get the, sh what's this, the shrapnel out. Oh, yeah. hey. oh, Tony. Hey, it is what it is. There's something up there, Lester. And shout out to my guy G Honda come through. Says, Stop, stop, stop. That <laughs> next voice. He says, Married five years, two kids claiming incompatibility. He says, Looking like pink Squidward. <laughs> is this camera on G Honda? Oh, yeah. Yes, it's on. I didn't is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. <laughs> Mm. Hey, Hunter, about these kids in the car. They say she ain't cracked the car windows. <laughs> Y'all on there, man. <laughs> yeah, that's just irresponsible. Wow. And shout out to Sal Bill. He says she's not saying it, but she's living in that car. Possibly. Cal it's rough in California right now. It is possible. It is. See, there you go. Real quick. So some simp come in here talking to her, and she going to throw it on. But like, hey, where are we going? She, I'm staying at the hotel right now. You know, I'm in between jobs. And if she catch the right simp, he gonna rip the hip. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad at him. Okay. If it was if it was right, I'd be open minded to it. Okay. All right. Um, let's do the Kendrick Cam. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Can you see me? This is this is a I'm, terrible, I'm this, is, this is a terrible Kendrick Cam. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Zach. Huh? You said what I'm just thinking. This is a terrible Kendrick Cam. I'm sorry. Um, let me see if I can find somewhere to pop my phone. Yeah. So you, can see you know it. what? I don't, if it's it's okay. <laughs> okay. I think we got you. You petite, petite girl. Okay. You found somewhere? Um. Let's see. There, there you go. There she is. I'm petite. Wow. Go ahead. Give us a spin. All right. All right, Zach a fool. <laughs> so 
This is it, though. Like I said, she ain't blowed out. She, I don't know. What she say about money? No, we ain't get that far. Sago <laughs> canceled her. We ain't get there, but it really don't matter. I mean, yeah. according to the chat, it don't matter. So I, we taking the daddy in. We can't even say that no more. It don't even matter. She said, you know, 40, 50 K. It's a bad deal for that man. It don't. Now, what if she say she cooks, she clean, you know, she can grow fruits and veggies from seed. And, she'll and she pay the all the bills. And she pay 80% of the bills. 80% of the bills. And she'll stay out the way. She'll stay in the garage. And her kid's going with the daddy. That's now what? Now. It's not such a huh? bad deal. Mm. But, <laughs> but, but yeah, you going in with these kids, it's just, it's rough. It's rough, Saggle. So, and I see Leon King's Road says, get Gypsy Rose out of here. <laughs> so as far as this sister... Um, hmm. it's unfortunate. We go. We said it last episode. Um, sometimes even in the chat, a lot of people got mixed emotions. But sometimes we gotta uh, prove a point, Man. and sometimes we gotta, you know, seriously set the record straight. Like you was married, huh. you won't come back out here playing. It's over. You got two kids. You plan one that ain't by your husband. You two for two out here, thirty in Cali. Yeah, but still, we got we got it. Life <laughs> making examples out here. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, because the bottom line is the chat has spoken. We've been listening to y'all. This, I mean, and we know this is a bad deal, but we always trying to find a way. But it's over. We got women out here childless. When you know, come on, women are childless out here having a hard time, sister. So there you go. And you know, I didn't realize it, but Kev used to say it, and it goes both ways. But I like the way he put it when he said, "Listen here, all of these bone creatures out here having kids and and making demands. You know, it's a new." Version of y'all being born every day, every day. So, fella, that's why I say, fellas, just how Kev used to say, get on your game, present the world with your best self, and go out there and get you what you want, man. Learn, learn what they want and desire, move accordingly. It's simple. So, Mr. Miyagi, baby, wax on, wax off, figure it out. But y'all ain't got to settle, you ain't got to. But if you don't present the world with your best self, <laughs> you may have to settle. <laughs> so here we go. Also, shout out to Saggle. He come through the hundred ball on that forty dollar skip. So you still got a skip in your back pocket, brother. We liberal around here. All right. Appreciate you, Saggle. Here we go. No, nah, for you got any kids? Yes, I have two. Two you girls. Have two. You have two girls. How well, how old are they? Sixteen years old and six. Sixteen and six? Yes. How many baby daddies you got? <laughs> I have two. Two for two. Two for two. Why you not with the six-year-old dad? Well, I'll say this. I, When I met him, I was in school. You know, he was figuring himself out. And at some point, I kept growing. And I don't know. We just, you know, didn't work. He just started, you know, dating other people while dating me. <laughs> Or with me. It's called cheating. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. No, pretty much. Shout out. Who was that that came up here? Well, they say the bottom line is they're not in relationships most of these times. Y'all just hunching. We just hit on it. Meeting at the bar, the club. Y'all are hunch buddies at late night when y'all intoxicated. Y'all yes. having children. Yes. Talk about he, was cheating. he was sleeping with other women. Of course. And you hear that nothing ever gets established. Like you just said, at best, meet at the bar, get into a, a routine of hunching, and now y'all think y'all go together. Just because he answered the for phone more times than not, the come clap cheeks. That ain't a relationship. Shout out to Lamb. Y'all got to talk. Establish something. You know, what's that dumb question? What are we? <laughs> Ask well, it. Well, once they <laughs> pregnant, once they pregnant with baby, now they like, all right, we together now, ain't we? Look, look, like, ah. Uh. Hell to the no. 
<laughs> nug Nug be like, you know what? I really wasn't expecting this, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this, Shorty. My, I gotta, I gotta go to Idaho right quick. <laughs> I'll be back in about a month or so. Not really. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another two for two, Shorty, folks. Here we go. Also, hit the like button if you're just coming in. I see y'all in the chat. Come on, folks. And at some point, I kept growing. And I don't know. We just, you know, didn't work. He just started, you know, dating other people while dating me. <laughs> or with me. That's called cheating. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's called cheap. I don't yeah. like. I don't want to bash him. Now he's, he's no. I get co-parent well. Y'all co-parent well. That's good. That's good. That's good. What you do for a living? I'm a finance and operations manager for a nonprofit organization. You handle the finance financial operations for nonprofit. The, the finance and operations. Yes, I keep the doors open. All right, that's the most important job, ain't? It? Um, probably after the director. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Have you have you ever been married? Were you married? Yes, I have been married once. Um, how long were you married? We were married for a year. Uh, one year. Okay. Would you like to be married again? I would. All right, bet. All right, let's get it. This is Aisha Scott. She's in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Like she said, born and raised. She's 34 years old. She's a sneaky Aquarius. Um, she she got two girls, 16 and six, two baby days. Uh, financial operations manager for a nonprofit, was married one year. Um, Aisha, what type of man are you looking for? I am looking for a man that is ready to be in a committed relationship, that is caring and considerate. Someone that, you know, respects women, especially his mom and the women around him. And someone that, I guess I'll say maybe someone that has kids, just simply because I don't know that I want any more. Okay. So you want somebody, so either somebody. It don't matter what you want. Nug Nug going to come through. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the baby up in me, you feel me? And I see y'all in the chat. She was married for one year. <laughs> and I'm getting uh, Cynthia G vibes off of this woman. Man. A, a lot of these women, they just look unpleasant. Hmm. Nagging. Get on your nerves. And and men want nothing more than peace, Mr. Walker. And this, I see no peace. No. You know, here we go. When these sisters come here and say, uh, my next man, he got to get along with his mama, the women around him. He got to respect the women in his life. They need to change that because just because he respect the women in his life don't really mean nothing. How about this, Bon Quisha? How about, you know what? When I The women in his life need to respect him. How about that? That's a whole different dynamic compared to him showing a uh, uh fearful respect to the guy Nocracy, that ain't necessarily a man. I beg to differ. But you go around them and they show respect for him, now you might have a winner, Bone Quisha. Change it up. Yeah, I'm tired of that. Yeah, stop that. Gotta gotta respect your mama. Gotta re yeah, should should be love and respected, but as a deal breaker, Bull Jav is who did. And I see Mrs. Locks to smile in the chat since she was married to Green Car Bay. Perhaps. Here we go. Somebody <laughs> who already got kids or don't want none. Yes. Okay. All right. There it is. Okay. Does he have to look a certain way? Oh, he would have to be black. A black man. He had to be black. Okay. Anything else? Just black? As long as he black. <laughs> Yes, I mean, I don't necessarily have preferences. I will say that in the past, I've typically typically dated someone that was, you know, taller, um, mm -hmm. 
probably a little heftier. I like big men. Oh, you like your man chubby? Not necessarily chubby, but I'm a small girl, and I don't know why I have this infatuation with just like you know, just bigger guys. He can, it can be muscle. It can be, you know. Yeah. Okay. We really don't know, because there is a difference. Words mean things. It could be muscle. It can be fat. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Golly, y'all know who they want. I, I'm here for the hoodoo. I like huh. a bigger could be no. Y'all, they want they want some big old offensive guard built brother, just big, you know, but not sloppy fade. Stop. They, uh-huh. Again, too much Instagram. Way too much. They need to stop that. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I see. Um, so just a bigger guy. Does he have to make a certain amount of money, though? I would say that, of course, make enough to take care of himself, whatever that means for him, and, you know, still be able to enjoy life. I'm, I travel a lot, and I, I enjoy myself, so I would at least, you know, like a man that has the ability to enjoy his life as well. Okay. She travels a lot. She just, she just typical man. Look at that closet clutter. You don't want to deal with this woman, man. Like long go. story short, man, use your discernment on this one. This is a she two for two. She's married. I mean, it's too many red flags. It just there you go. Yeah, I'm nitpicking now. Yeah, take her. She she's done. Yeah, this bedroom. Somebody in the chat asks, is it a good idea to do? The Kendra interview in your bedroom. I say, hey, no, I, I yeah, shouldn't be showing folks your bedroom. That's that's kind of weird to me. Yeah, why well, somebody need to be in your bedroom? <laughs> so they show you my bedroom. <laughs> hey, my bedroom might look like Uncle Elroy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So here we go. Uh, do the Kendra cam, sister. Um, any, what are your deal breakers? My deal breakers is just someone who's inconsiderate, mean, someone who doesn't know how to articulate their feelings, someone, um, yeah, to, um, I'm trying to think. I'm so nervous. And I'll go through right. all age, the time in my head. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> um, I, I would say my age to probably about, you 34. 39. So about five years old, you know, five year range. 34, 34 to 39. Yeah, about that. Okay. 34 to 39. I got you. I got you. That's not that. Usually, I mean, the people that I've been interviewing all day, they want the men that's about 40 and up. No, I prefer someone that's closer to a, if, you know, to my age, have something we can relate to. And of course, I do want to be married again. So I'm thinking about longevity. You know, I know life happens. Uh, you know, somebody can walk outside and get hit by a car, but I would at least like somebody who I can have the potential to grow older with. Would you, would you date that long distance though? Would you date long distance? I would say yes, because I'm open to moving. I'm actually looking to move in the next year. And I'm not truly settled on where I want to go. My daughter will be graduating school in a year. Okay. So after that, I'm I'm ready to move on. Move on. You ready? You ready to get out of Florida? You've been living there your whole life? Yes, yes. And I moved away um to Georgia once. And that's another thing. Like, here's another thing, uh man. We don't hardly talk about this. We always talk about kids aging out and we talk, she says, Oh, my kid about to graduate high school. What the hell does that mean? That just means either a, they're going to continue to live with you and be a burden on a man. That's a mm-hmm. grown person in this house or B you're going to send them to college. And if you ask me, it's probably two or three times more expensive at that point. Then you raising your kid right now. It's going to be much more expensive. Once they go to college, it's a bigger bill. Hey, so that's, that's more of a, so it, it's cap when we say all oh, the kids is gonna be out the house, they still gonna be a burden. Yes, there you go. That part, 
Yeah, shout out to all of the hardworking parents out there. Yeah, the kids, they all, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, we got to stop doing that. And I do believe that that's more or less isolated, more or less, to the melanated community. Where you 18 and they say, I got my house, get gone. Out into the world, which is some of the most destructive-ish ever. Ever. Yeah, everybody ain't built for Adobe. You don't know what that is? Check out 300. And, and at the very same time, you shouldn't be putting your kids out to find a man. It just, you stuck. If you ain't with that child's father, don't no man using his common sense want to move into a house with a woman with grown children living in the damn house. <laughs> Getting jumped. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just, it's in a good situation. Like all that aside, just if, even if everything is copacetic, it's a bad deal. You don't want, you don't want to be in the house with no damn gr other grown ups. No, terrible. Y'all seen baby huh. boy huh. before, and then I've also moved to Central Florida, which I love as well. But I'm open to moving further, maybe somewhere like Texas or Georgia again, South Carolina. I don't know. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, it's time to do it. The Kendra Cam, let's see. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I told you I'm small, so I'm slim. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right now. We see, we see. Uh, you don't have to answer this. When the last time you was intimate with somebody? It's been probably about seven or eight months. Seven or eight months. What happened with that guy? Well, he was somebody I was interested in being in a relationship with, and he was actually from Louisiana. But um, he started also dating a very thick stripper. I mean, she was a bad girl, so <laughs> I can't hate Why you have to say she was a thick stripper like that? <laughs> because she looked good. She was. She was thick. <laughs> she looked good. He, said he started dating a very thick stripper. That's funny. Yeah, you she, looked, she looked good. I, I, mean, I ain't mad at him. You wasn't mad at him? Mm -mm. He was like, she was so thick. You was like, you know what? I get it. Yeah, hey, I got it. I was like, she looked good. <laughs> and you know, I'm not there. I'm far, you know, I'm here. So. Well, no, it's all good. Well, Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Oh, oh you see that? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. She's seizing up. I'm good. <laughs> Over, Bonquisha. Your wig about to fall off. All right. I, oh, I hate no. that. I hate that for the sisters, man. Never understood that how a slim fit sister like this can be halfway jealous or envious of some thick stripper that that probably has a BBL. Like, come on, like, don't do that, sister. Like, don't be worried about <laughs> these thick strippers out here taking your man. But I get it. I, I get it. And, and there we go. Speaking of BBLs, shout out to my girl Kelly Kale. All right, Kelly Kale going in for her BBL procedure. So we're trying to get her back up here on the show. Kelly Kale about to get a BBL. It's official. I, I want to say she she going in any I want tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. But yeah, she all lined up. She about to. I think she's going live. She about to get on the plane. Kelly Kale going to get that BBL. Yeah. Shout out to Kelly. And and she reminds me of Kelly. Like these women trying to compete with these thick sisters and. Huh. A BBL. Uh, listen here, man. If listen, I'm trying. I'm trying. If y'all, if if y'all ladies don't plan on, you know, being in the entertainment industry for the duration of y'all life, don't be going to get in these comical BBLs. Just please, just just let it alone. Go to the gym. Go holler. Go holler, at Lamb. Get some fitness tips. And put in the work. Oh, uh, Kelly Kale. God bless you. Pray for her. That's a dangerous procedure, man. Here we go. Um, what do you three what do you think three of your flaws are? Maybe that sometimes I could be too easygoing with things. Um, so that will bring into number two that maybe I have a careless attitude. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the third one is one I think I've worked well on, but I, I will say it is that, especially with being single for the last couple of like two or three years is that I could 
be a little controlling. I haven't really been with in, in a relationship with anybody, but I know in the past I could be a little controlling. Controller, controller. Why you think you're single? I think I am single because in the past, I could be a B word sometimes. Mm, you and, know you mean. <laughs> and um, also just because the last couple of years i just really spent a lot of time going so hard i'll be honest i was a high school dropout i did of course me saying i'm 34 i have a 16 year old i had my daughter i got pregnant with her and had her at 17. Mm -hmm. and um yeah i just yeah <laughs> yeah I, yeah i just think that i went so hard um because i went back to school at what 25 got my gd then i kept going associates then bachelors then masters so i was just really focused and then obviously getting into my career which is really good now and yeah i was right. just super focused we proud of you we proud of you mama you did your thing thank you all right um why would somebody be lucky to be with you somebody would be lucky to be with me because i'm smart i'm outgoing i'm I'm caring. Um, I reciprocate the love that someone gives me. I'm a giver at heart, um, but not. But I, I'm not to be used. <laughs> I'm not. Good. But yeah, I think I'm. I'm a. I'm a good person. I try to be a good person. Well, you're doing good. All right. So, who? How can people reach out to you? They can reach me on my Instagram. You might have seen me in the comments. I kept begging, pick me next, pick me next. But it's positively pre underscore. Okay. So P O S I T I V E L Y P R E underscore. I tell you what, she said, she said she went and got her GD, then she got all these degrees. As my girl Dom said, I swear to God. I've never seen so many goddamn criminal minds motherfuckers on here. I never seen so many people that got goddamn PhDs and one, two, threes and ABCs and in degrees in their goddamn life. Huh. Hey, but at least she, at least she did it. She dropped out. She was life was lifing. She said, you know, I went back. I got it together. But as a chat saying, oversharing could it didn't need that didn't help. You know, that could have been a conversation with you and your new boo down the line. <laughs> so as far as her, mm -hmm. I think we brought a sister up here right before her mm -hmm. in our message. We done playing. Yes. We are going to, we got to make a message, Mr. Walker. Ten Hut, <laughs> it's over. It's over. Yeah. And we're doing this for y'all. We can't, can't keep giving y'all hope. Shout out to Dick Gregory. Yeah, we laugh when we say hope because hope is dead. There is nothing in hope. Hope is not a strategy nor plan. All right. And, and we'll so, say this right now. It's 2024. The Godfather lives on. The Godfather lives on. We got because of women like this, folks. There you go. Y'all did it. <laughs> bon Quisha, keeping them alive. Here we go. <laughs> Unfortunate. Wish it wasn't so, but it is. It is. Yes, y'all just wait. Y'all just wait. I don't mind in, in the upcoming years for these sisters start coming up in droves. Like I'm married. I got my two kids. I got me a good white man. I got me a good Asian man. Got me a good Arab man. We married. Picket fence. I'm like, I was wrong. That's dope. We moving. Y'all think that's going to be the case? Or you think it's going to be tears, tears and fears? <laughs> so here we go. Let me catch up on these super chats. Shout out to the beast. Come through with five dollars. He says late, but well worthy. He says, well worthy about that. We'll worry about that later. What's <laughs> important is taking care of your kids for life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to the Marine Corps. Appreciate you, Beast. 
And shout out to Silver Bear seventy three. Says usually black don't crack if you unbig your back. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and the beast come back. He says Skella, Skella Tisha. Oh, oh, we got really here. beast. Oh, she, oh, she fit. Skella right. Talisha. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna shame the fit sisters in Sweet Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the beast. Also, uh, the garage come through says, "Why women always say as long as he supports himself? Because huh. they, they they they've been buying them black air forces for nug nug. They ain't buying no Xboxes. You know, what I couldn't imagine. Do y'all not understand that some men can't fathom looking at they girlfriend or whatever talking about? Hey, babe, can I hold? Can I borrow? Like y'all, y'all, that's not a thing." <laughs> and Silver Bear come back, come back. He says, "BBL, that's where the doo doo is, boy." <laughs> boy. <laughs> uh, Divine Photos says you can tell Nug Nug runs circles around her. Man, trouble. Yeah, she's talking about this guy left me for some big thick stripper. And come on, you know what kind of man she's dealing with. I've heard this before. I've heard the song and dance. <laughs> and Skinny Boy come with the five dollars. He says, "All right, fellas." Rosa Parks, your Kudakata, or meet to meet Myrtle Urkel. <laughs> okay, Myrtle Urkel. <laughs> Myrtle Urkel. Oh, Myrtle Urkel it is. Yeah. Rosa Parks, your Kudakata. Rosa Park, your Kudakata. I can't stand you, skinny boy. <laughs> and shout out to G Honda. He says, come through the $5. OMG, Kelly Kell getting a BBL with nobody whatsoever. I hope her eye still blue. She really wants that attention, but it's this camera on me. Yeah, G Honda. Yeah, she deserves it, G Honda. Mm. Kelly Kell getting a beat. I didn't. Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your <laughs> common sense. Yeah, I get the allure to BBL. Me and my wife was in Walmart. <laughs> this is crazy. And there was this chick walking around with a BBL. My wife was like, look, come here, look, look, look. And I get it because everybody looking, men and women. Looking, it's a spectacle. I I can't. Is that that kind of empty gratification? That's like a drug to these sisters. Insane. Well, it's not. I want to say it's empty gratification. They uh, listen. A lot oh. of revenue. They getting bills paid, simps, cash. Yes. Yeah, we got traders amongst us, man. Stop that, y'all. Stop. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but anyway, we gonna try to get Kelly back up here. Maybe by the end of the month. Maybe we'll check her Instagram out. She was going live over there. I caught it like yesterday. She's about to board the plane. She's describing. She's yeah. She's going to get BBL. Be well, Kelly Kell. Be well. Mm -hmm. So here we go. In other news, Bonquish is back. Hit the like button. We still low on likes. Hit the like button, people. We should have four hundred likes. Let's see if we can get five hundred people in the room. Hit the like button, folks. Oh, Alize. Oh, that's your real name. That's your mm -hmm. government? Your mama mm -hmm. named you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alize. Uh, where you calling from? New York. How old are you? I am 28. All right. Um, you got any kids? Look, like, I look so crazy. They said um, no kids. No kids. They said you look like Sukiana. That's Have you ever got that before? Up. Huh? <laughs> That's fucked up. She's not cute. What's wrong with Big Sue? Okay, that's what they said. But anyway, no kids. No, Bonquisha. Hell, you want to come up here looking all wild with baby hairs, and then yeah. somebody call you Bonquisha? Nah, that ain't me. Uh, uh, that's effed up. Yeah, they called you Sukiana. Your response is that's effed up, like a big strong boy, like Sukiana, and and you got the forehead mustache. Can we start drawing the nose in the middle of that all 2024? Just go boom, boom, Quisha, if you dare. And draw the nose in the middle of her forehead right between her baby hairs. <laughs> yeah, Bone Quisha, we're going to let her cook. We're going to let her cook. She come up here. Y'all know what it is. Where my girl at? Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all know y'all wrong. Y'all know mm -hmm. What you do for a living? Um, I model and I'm a customer success manager for a healthcare company. You model and you're a customer success? Mm -hmm. 
uh, what healthcare company? Okay. Uh, you um, have you ever been married? No. All right. This is Alize, New York, twenty-eight, no kids, model, customer success uh, specialist for a healthcare company. What type of man are you looking for? Um, I want someone that's tall. Um, so I'm five nine. Okay, that makes sense. So preferably someone like six two up. Prefer All right, there you go. Okay, six two. Go ahead. But if you're like six one with some shoes, you six two, six feet. You five. You five nine. Why you? You could stop doing no. all that. You you five. No, because when person. you wear the heels, I don't want him to still be taller than me. Okay. When I wear heels, I'm like six one, six two. Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. A king I might be like, short. I like a big man. Okay, big man. Got you. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, Any, uh, someone, I do. I am open to all races. We're not. We're um, not promoting that Black History Month. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying I'm open. Maybe, to all maybe races. when Kendra come I'm back. Maybe, all. maybe when Kendra come back. But me, as a black man, on the third day of Black History Month, you're not gonna come on here as a black woman talking about you want all races. Nope. My lashes are too long. I need to get a refill. Nope. We we can start. You can do that on March first. No, Zach, stop. And I'll say this on a more serious note, man. Don't don't stop them. Let them go. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm hoping Zach just capping and goofing around. But yeah, let them say. Yeah, let them go. And we said that last night via the Regal Rumble. If Bonquisha has a chance with Brad Chad and Knockbar, Godspeed, Bonquisha. Go and get him. Live happily ever after. With your but baby. understand the the mark that's going to be on your resume when you try to jump back across that fence. Mm -hmm. All right? You gonna you know what I mean? You, you wonder, you're going to be along the lines mm -hmm. like the baby mamas and all of that. You're going to get thrown in that pool. You're going to be tainted when you come back. So go there ahead. You, there you go. Good luck. Yeah, Brad Chad checking for you. So she ain't got no kids. Let's see. Let's see if the Kendra came is given. Chad. <laughs> Here we go. You know, all right. Love well, you asked me what well, I I'm, want. I like. Just letting you know. That's I like all I... races, Asian, Spanish, white, black. I know that's right. European. All of them. Ethiopian. Yep. Middle Eastern. All that. If you're cute, you're cute. Man, gotcha. Right. Um, uh, someone that is also attentive, affectionate, romantic, um, emotionally available, uh, family oriented, respectful, etc. Okay, all that. There it is. Um, does he have to make a certain yeah. amount of money? Yes. I live in New York, so minimum like 80. K base. 80,000. 80K base. Got you. You make that type of. I also make that much too. Yeah, so. that's what I was going to ask. Okay, so that's fair. All right, what are your deal breaking? Baby mama drama, preferably no kids. Okay. Um, no best friend, female friends. Why? That's see, that's that pinky shit I'm talking about. That ain't got nothing no, to do with nothing. I'm sorry. What's no. what? Okay, what's your theory on? Because they wrong? either already fucked or wanna fuck, or she gotta be really ugly. Because I I've been there, done that. No. I literally just talked to my female best friend. She called me. We had been playing phone tag for the last two weeks. Stop the cap. All right, Bonquisha. She she's up here spreading a lot of misinformation. But right here, we want uh, to agree with her. Come on. We have said, and Zach Kappen, Zach, stop. Like, it's one thing, man, if you're a bachelor, you're a bachelor. If you ain't, if you don't want to be married, you don't want to be married. But there you go. if you're trying to date somebody, like you said, shouldn't neither one of y'all have opposite sex friends? No, we, we on record for saying it. Yes. And I know I said it for sure. It, it it don't work outside of a business I don't say we I just got done playing phone tag with my what are you talking about brother see what I'm saying like I said granted if you just say it is what it is but you yeah. ain't looking for nothing apparently so 
there you there you go. And like the sister said, it can work if she butt ugly. Real right, and we gotta like paint the picture. If if you walk in and your man in there sitting on the couch with Maggie, with Maggie, y'all know <laughs> Maggie, and you're gonna be like, Oh, what's she doing here? Well, all right, well, tell her leave when y'all done. But if you come in and she's sitting down there with Sierra, you might if you don't get this F out my house. <laughs> Like I said, man, wouldn't even bring. That's when, like you say, a man wouldn't even bring that man around that woman around the house. That's when he's sneaking off. He ain't coming home. He out hanging with her. That's what we say. It's a don't do obviously, like man, if you marry stuff like that, we just got called spade to spade. It's not a good idea to have attractive female friends that are within arm reach. Like y'all can see each other and hang out go. and that type of stuff. No. There you go. They 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 gotta be undesirable. Then it could work. Like that's the homeboy. Like like a stud or something. That's that's a homeboy. That's a whole homeboy. <laughs> With a vet. So, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Zach. Like say it. This sister, she's off base with mostly everything coming out of her mouth. But unfortunately, a broken clock is right twice a day. It's unfortunate. Amen. <laughs> I didn't say. Couldn't have female friends. I'm saying your best friend can't be a female. Like no. No, she's, she, but she's she's my female yeah. best friend. Yeah, I, no, I'm saying like you can have female friends, but like no best friend, female friends. You know what Get I mean? to the chopper, like, Zach. Y'all be together all the yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, like, okay, no. I see what you're saying. Because I, I I honestly think, and this is just how I feel, and I I see what you're saying. If you like, oh my best friend is a female, I would I I do see the red flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah, I do think. Friends. But I do think more men need more platonic women friends and women need more platonic male friends so y'all can actually know what y'all talking about when you talk. Because most women, they go to they, they go to their single friends to talk about relationship mm -hmm. with men. And neither one of y'all know what the hell y'all be talking about. And y'all just be giving each other bad advice. Well, meanwhile, if you had a platonic male friend that was really your friend, you could ask him, like, what does this mean? This... This guy sent me this, this, this. He can tell you, like, oh, no, nah, he playing with you. Or, no, nah, look at it this way. You know what I'm saying? He give you actual advice. Zach. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Now you going down the lane of a Derek Jackson, Ace mm. Metaphors. You going, what are you talking about? Call this man, and he going to start Dirty Mac. Oh, yeah. My husband doing this. Oh, yeah, he ain't nothing. Leave that man. Yeah, he cheating on you, girl. Zach, what are you talking about, Zach? See what I'm saying? Context. Yeah, come on, Zach. Keep keep talking that mess. That uh, that, that go both ways now, Zach. You're going to get involved with a sister, and she got, she got male friends, you know, football players. And like, stop. Stop that. Like I said, the dirty Mac is going to be at all Time. And I, I see the B saying he got a point though, but he don't be. We no. talk about human nature, like you said. Granted, if the guys, but even if he playing for uncles, uncles we, we know dad, how y'all get brothers. Ain't yeah, no when y'all when y'all get alcohol in y'all system, even if the guys playing for the other team, Come that's on. still it's just a bad deal. And yeah. Zach, Zach talk about well, if you talk, if men talking to men, women talking to women, you can't get the other perspective. You only get one side of it. So if you had somebody that you just platonic, ah, uh, I if get she, it. If she for it got undesirable, got to be in the room, Mister Walker. It can't be desirable. It must be in the room. I I can't stress that enough. Real women and men will acknowledge that only way we could be friends is if I find you sexually undesirable. Ain't happening. Like it just ain't happening. I don't think about it. I, don't, I can't even imagine your genitals. It's over. But other than that, like it's, it's it don't work. And these sisters talk about it. They be friends. Yeah, stop. I done, we didn't collected too much data. It don't work unless nobody finds the other party desirable. But at some point, alcohol, pills, and herb gonna get mixed in, and meat's gonna meet. So here we go. Shout out to the beast. He says fitness fact. He says, what is easy most will go for? What is easy most will go for? What is hard most will not. Mm -hmm. However, the grind may go unnoticed, but the results will not. Go to the gym. Amen, my good brother. Also, shout out to Mr. Mister. Says, she's so ratchet, even her baby hairs collect child support. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Mr. E-Raw. 
<laughs> Y'all have the pocket. Leon King's robe says uh, ghetto Ebony K with the forehead curtains. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brian C. He says the lashes, eyebrows, baby hairs, make it stop. It's here forever. Money, 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 money. Shout out to Divine Photos for the $5 super chat. Says she right, but she does know unattractive women can get hun- Yeah, if not hunch, at least got got. That's why I was gonna stop Mr. Walker for a second. <laughs> Even then, it's a double standard. Like maybe for a woman, if a guy, you know, maybe she might not find him attractive, but a man. Even in the moment, who knows? You out drinking, one thing led to another. Next thing you know, got <laughs> got. He be like, Mon Christian, why are you on your knees? What you do? <laughs> he right. right. You right. Look, they granted, granted. So he says they get hunched because they do more. Plus, studs low key mess with men too. So we saw. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. God, <laughs> no. Hey, what that stud? That stud be like, hey, bro. <laughs> this is wild. This is wild stuff. Pull, pull my boxes to the side. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. God, no. But okay, I got you. I got um, you. I got some other. What's your other deal break? Uh, uh, broke, under six feet. Uh, okay. uh, disrespectful. Does not know how to speak to women. Uh, does not treat women well. I feel like that's really like a big deal breaker. Um, and I'm just like no offense. But I prefer more. I don't like hood niggas. Okay. So more on the like, you know, have like a college. The way, oh, the one way... educated. The way that just rolled off your tongue, you're not gonna tell me you don't like hood ninjas. The, she goes, the way you just said that, you understand? You speak the language, Bonquisha. I don't want no hood ninja. Says a woman, a woman who you see, what I'm saying, where my girl Lamb at? Lamb, are you? I can't even picture Lamb saying, I ain't have no hood. Ninja. The way she just said that, see hmm, that part, she don't want no hood ninja no more. So at least she's saying with her mouth, yeah. And on top of that, uh, who was it? Tag this sister said her man really can't be no shorter than 6'2. Can't wait for her to pull up with this 6'2 Asian. <laughs> Shout out to Tag. <laughs> She could go find uh Yao Ming out this Mamma Jamma. <laughs> and, and she come up here looking like a duck, quacking like a duck, but looking for a bear. So here we go. You know, has a 401 okay, like savings, likes to travel, stuff like that. Okay. Has friends too, like has actual friends, like not like at home by themselves, social. Okay. What would you what age range you want to date? Honestly, I'm open. I've dated younger guys, but I feel like to be real, like maybe like 25 to like 45. 25 to 45. Okay. Right. Would you date long distance? I, I would. I would. My last relationship was long distance, so I would do it. Again. And how long did that last? Not that long. How long? Like a few months. Okay. Why you? I'll break up. They moved back to the Netherlands, so. Hmm. Netherlands. So was it, y'all weren't trying to break up? Did he get deported or no. something? No. So we met while he was on vacation here, and we did long distance from Canada, and then he moved back to his home country. So. Yeah. Okay. So you at least gotta can't be gotta be in the United States. Yeah, like at least be in the United States, please. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Alize, it's time to do the Kendra cam. Let's get it. All right, I have a full length mirror. Does that work? Yeah. yeah. If it look, if we can see you. Yeah, roll on. What about do, Bone Christian? This sweater is not the best. Ooh, let me. Alize, come on, Alize. My doors. Her name is Alize. My cat don't run out. Okay. Okay now. okay, now you take the time. Come on now, hurry up. I just don't want to like have too much in my background. Oh, this is me. All right, now. There it is. Give us a spin. The heck is... Oh. Okay. 
I don't know how to do it. Do a spin with the, you get the gist. We get it. All right. So she ain't got no kids. She ain't built bad. Y'all see what y'all see. Her name, Alize. We ain't even hit on that. Shame, shame your parents. Shame them. Alize. Alize. Is Alize the name of anything other than a liquor? A cheap liquor? Alize, I ain't never even, it must be wild and cheap because I never even had, not even in college. Alize? <laughs> Shout out to my man Tupac. Yeah, Tupac used to be on that Alize. And and on Baby Boy again. That's what he said. An Alize a day. <laughs> like a West Coast. Might be like a West Coast thing. Shout out to Cali. Okay. Might sip on me some Alize. Get my ghetto on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mostly it's, you know, black folk, Alize, you know, naming y'all kids Hennessy. I'm waiting for the first Casamigos. Any Casamigos babies out there, you know. Please don't, Kevin. Don't say it. Please don't say that. Please. Y'all got to stop naming y'all kids after liquor. And, and cars. But, well, what I'll say about her, you know, as far as the dating market, I don't know. Like you said, she got the wig on and baby hairs and such. That's she got no kids. She ain't got no workable. kids. Yeah. Here she is. Alize, what you hold up? Alize, how old is she? 29? 28? I'm not sure of her age. I she think she under 30. Yeah, she under and 30. no kids. Under 30, no kids. Ain't blowed out. Look like you know, I don't know what she got going. She got some wide hips. Could be BBL. It look a little wild around the hip area. Don't know what's going on. Don't want to assume. But I say all that to say, uh, she 28. Okay. What we got here? Kenja top 25? <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she tops, but she might not qualify for the band or not. Let's see. Let's give her a little bit more rope. See if yeah. she messed it up for herself. We got you, Alize. Go ahead. Oh yeah, thank you. Well, thank you so much. I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, it's uh, a few more questions. Just um, we we wrapping up. Um, Alize, you don't have to answer this if you don't want. When's the last time you were interviewing with somebody? No comment. All right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm starting to think when y'all say no comment, it was yesterday. Yes, sir. It was. All right. <laughs> no comment. No All right, comment. We, we got you. Um, what what would you say is your three flaws when it comes to a relationship? And I'm needy. Needy, okay. Um, I, I sometimes overreact. Okay, crazy. I mean, overreact. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't, don't have a lot of patience sometimes. No, no patience. Okay. Why do you think you're single? For all of those three things. <laughs> Because you need, you don't have no patience. And what else? And overreact. And you overreact. I feel like my attachment style is very, um, I need like a secure partner. I have a very anxious attachment style. What's so that? I've like been in that loop of like dating avoidant partners. That's a so I'm looking nice for anxious them. attachment style is a real nice way to say you be doing too No, much. It's, it's actually like a whole thing. But yeah, basically. Um, and usually people that are anxious need more secure partners. And... I've been just finding myself dating a lot of avoided people. What's this hoodoo? Mm. Okay. All right. Well, while somebody that was very aware. I didn't catch most of it. But... Whoa. We got a new age hoodoo. She said, no. She didn't say I'm clingy. She said, I have an aggressive or a, a some type of a attachment style. What? Like, that's in the same realm of love language? She said she got. She said she got a uh, anxious attachment style. That's who. Yeah, the more she, the more I'm looking. She talking. It's definitely ain't no Kendra top anything. No, it you ain't. Know, yeah, she, yeah, this yeah. is this is the kind of woman. Even though she don't have children, you need to avoid her as if she three for three because she kind of mm. got that software going. Mm. You get her pray. This is a a nightmare waiting to happen. This is uh. Family court, you know what I mean? All that. You don't want to deal with this. All that. Family court, toxicity, ain't going to let you get no peace. Every time you try to find your new lady, she going she gonna to have that cootie cat all in your face. You don't want these problems. Yeah. See, I was inching towards uh, catch and release, but nah. No. Yeah, tonight is the night of example. So <laughs> give her, let her go a little bit more. And here we go, folks. I'm here for it. Why would somebody be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm a 
I'm a loving person. I'm caring. I'll go above and beyond if we're together. Um, I'm looking to eventually have kids in the future. Um, and I want a, a two income household. Um, and I want to be successful. So anyone that wants to be with me, like, I want to like step them up, like step up together kind of thing. You want to be up something together. Yeah. All right. How you want people to reach out um, to you? You can DM me on my Instagram. It's Alize, A-L-I-Z-E dot the drink with three Ks at the end. So the dot drink with three Ks. Um, you can just DM me. So I see a lot of y'all in the chat. Y'all saying glazed galaxy, huh? Not okay. such a bad idea. It ain't. Yeah, this is Alize underscore the drink <laughs> with three Ks at the end. Holy smoking joking. Yeah, so, Alizé, yeah. the drink. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Like I said, she done crossed the gun line, so we're going to send her up and keep it moving, folks. They want Alizé. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh, no, I see this shit is going to be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get it. Dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. No exception to the rule. Listen, baby. You hear me? I played the fool for a fool. <laughs> Shout out to Squeegee Key. I see you dropped her IG in the chat. Uh -oh. We'll take a look at it maybe for a second. Uh -oh. We'll pull it up and light the show. Let me see what she got going on here. All right, we'll pull it up for a second. We're going to get back into the show because we do got some madness on the back end. But we'll pull it up real quick, Squeegee Kid, because let's see what she got. Yeah, let's see. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's see if this is BBL or not. So I want to see. So she got, a, she got a blue check mark, 35,000 <laughs> followers. Look like she sell products and... All right, she got them motorboats. All right, so I ain't, I ain't never really cared about no boot. <laughs> yeah, she got the motorboats, fellas. So, where he yeah, at? she did cool. the, the fat follow for the fat like is. She definitely she back eligible. I think the IG didn't go for some of them. All right, she done redeemed herself. I love it. I love it. Bring her back. They said, bring that shuttle back down here. <laughs> so when she catch her release now, I do the mirror. Catch her release. Squeegee kid. Squeegee kid said, get a load of this. Yeah, Squeegee kid was like, hold on. Squeegee kid threw her a life raft. So here we are. Shout out <laughs> to Squeegee kid. Shout out to Squeegee kid. He done threw her a life raft, y'all. All right, Mo Quisha, you, you might live to fight another day. What is she into? She said she was messing with some dude from the Netherlands, and what's the deal? That's all I want to know. What's what's going on? Why why ain't you? You ain't got no kids. You ain't blowed out. She's 28, and you can't get no success. Ain't a bad-looking sister. Well, in this case, like say I, I said a few episodes back, beauty has become a woman's greatest curse. Because mm. you you can be beautiful, you can you know have all the assets, you can get in bed with these men, but the men those how they don't want marriage, they ain't not with you. So you know what is that? See what I'm saying? Now the, the hold it right there. She's sitting there, <laughs> and then sisters would dress like this and say, Don't objectify me. And you know what she she know what she giving. And that's my thing is the hypocrisy. I can't stand hypocrites. Can't stand it. Yeah, so this sister here, goodness gracious. <laughs> Did she say marriage? It ain't happening. Uh, to some sympathetic brother. It ain't off the tape like you say it. It ain't going to be what she desire and respect. We'll see. There you go. Let's Beauty see. is vain. There you go. Uh, Scrooge, Scrooge McDuckin, beauty is vain. And that's my question. I keep asking, why can't these generally attractive sisters that's built like some, why can't they just simmer down and be level headed and go out there and get what they want? Because they get, 
like said, like I said, we can't be hypocrites in this moment. Like I said, they ain't gonna do it for the same reasons Mr. Six Figures ain't gonna do it. They don't have to. This year, Mr. Six Figures got he got real life options that can go the distance. She That's can, true, but they getting the results that they like even the Queen was saying if they getting it selfish, they getting it for their lifetime. They there just doing like I said, they it's a it's a wild there you game. Go. There you go. They they making the most out of their youth and beauty, getting it while they can, regardless of the consequence. I get it, but dumb. But dumb. that's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's dumb. It's definitely that, dumb. You know what? Here's the thing. Live it. Go ahead and do it. Do your thing. Live out your dream. YOLO. YOLO it up. And don't come back in your late 40s and 50s whining and talking about but they will. People. And that and that's that's why this whole thing is, is funny. They will. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, Gotta own it forever. Just own it. But these women right now, like I said, this is their greatest curse, is their beauty. And each year they go by, they done from the age of 16 all the way up to 25, 30. They just keep elevating, getting better, man. I started off with a guy in the old hoopty. He was driving a 2002 Honda. My next boyfriend had this. The next guy had his own house. The next guy had a Benz. The next guy had a penthouse. And they just keep elevating. They're like, why would I settle when I keep getting better results? Mm -hmm. But then the wall comes. And they just like, Bam. doom. And they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> they be like, Cat Williams, wait a minute. It's, I was just in the penthouse riding uh, G-Wagons. Why are these niggas stop calling me? Why all of a sudden Pookie and Ray Ray, like you said, Gav, from back in the day, why they hit my line again? Oh, shoot, I'm 45. Three, three, three for 10 out here. Roll hard, put away most wet. Oh, time is up. Hot Girl Summer has ended. Yeah, so... Straight mercenary, folks. Holy hell. Gospel. Um, yeah, right now, we throw the junior band at her just for semantics. That's right. funny. She came there back. They said, bring that shuttle back. <laughs> that was a warning <laughs> shot. That was a warning shot. All right. Ladies. Please take note the the power of fitness. Just take note. She was in the shuttle. We went to the IG, peaked the physical part. Said, you know what? <laughs> Let's see if she got a shot. Hope entered the room. <laughs> That's amazing. Got to take note. Y'all can't keep ignoring this. Fitness. All y'all ladies want what you want. Get fit. And as Diamond say, go out there and get what you want, please. So here we go. Hit the like button if you just come in the room. We ain't done. We got Bo Madness on the back, as y'all know. So hit the like button. Let the algorithm do its thing. And where we at here? Shout out to the beast. He says, uh, we, let me get Richai first. Richai says, I hear some of these B-dubs name their children after liquor they don't buy vehicles they can't afford yeah huh and then the beast said what Richard said this is why intellectual property is so vital my brothers and sisters yes sir mm, that part and Sal Bill he says she for a good time not a long time wrap it up that part yeah body was crazy I didn't see that coming Indeed. So. Your daddy plug, yeah, man. It's unfortunate, y'all. Somebody ain't gonna fall victim, and it's unfortunate. <laughs> All right. And your daddy plug says, "Is booking in her bio? Oh, she definitely charged for. Yeah, a lot of the women have their different links to different pages. I'm not sure. Possibly. That's crazy. But I live your life, man. Yeah, I said that. I told y'all, Instagram is a gateway." So I was just saying that in the premiere earlier. Like a lot of men, they start off simping on Instagram, and these women know they'll do just enough on Instagram like her. I'll give you just enough of these good pictures, and then I'm a um uh, I'm gonna lead you to this paywall. And what's behind this paywall is is the wild stuff. All right. Yeah. Boom, 
Like OF? <laughs> Sound like OF. Yeah, yeah. So they, yeah, you know, pretty much stuff like that. You know, guys like, all right, this IG ain't enough. I might as well pay $20 a month and subscribe. Oh, and my God. God. And that's how these women be winning. Next thing you know, they got a thousand subscribers to something. And they thousand got- subscribers, twenty dollars a month. Can y'all do math? <laughs> Bro, Queen should be up off a couple Kuda Cat pictures. <laughs> hey, shout out to Ethan Queen. Y'all simps is messing up the game. Y'all effing it up. And shout out to the Grimacy Ref. Came through a sponsor last night's show. Back in the super chat says salute single by choice duo in the chat. So to you, brother. Thank you. So here we go. We're going to get back into it. Mo Madness. Hit the like button. <laughs> I am Shauna. I'm calling from New York. Oh, my Instagram is Shauna oh. Rock. I'm never. We'll get there. We'll get there, Shauna. Oh, see, just... jumping the gun. Yeah, jumping again. How old are you? 35. All right, Shauna. New York, 35. What's your zodiac sign? Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius lie all the time. They can't. I don't Sneak. lie. I'm Sneaky. brutally honest. Sneaky. Okay. Aquarius, uh, Shawana, New York, 35. You have any kids? No children. And it's Shauna. Oh. Sorry, Shauna. Shauna. Let me spell it right. Shauna, got you. Shauna, New York, 35. Aquarius, no kids. What you do for a living? I am a project coordinator. Okay. Okay. Have you ever been married? You want no. to be married? I like the idea of it, but yes. 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 She does? Yes. Sis, anytime, yes. anytime she, she cap in this interview, just go ahead and call it out. I got you. I got you. Okay. Let's go. Red flag number one, man. If you're a marriage-minded man, and she said, I like the idea of it. Meaning a, a big fifty thousand dollar wedding, a beautiful dress, it but is. I don't want to be. Uh, what was we talking about last night? I don't want no duty and responsibility. Yeah, I'm about yeah. to be cleaning for this ninja. I ain't, I don't want the responsibilities. I want the wedding. I want the adulations and the gifts. Give me my party. I get it. Yeah. Give me my party. Give me my celebration. You know all that. <laughs> say they want the whole say yes to the dress experience. I feel but it. As far as duty, responsibility, no happiness. I'm in this. They say I'm in this happiness. I'm in this marriage for happiness, joy, adulation. Uh, they want you to worship me. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna get right back into it. I see my guy Theo in the building. How you feeling tonight, Theo Coop? Theo come through with the 20 ball. He says, late fees. Salute to the best tandem on YouTube. Yeah! He says, I said what I said. Salute to the chat. I'm out, but listening in. Hit the like button, folks. Shout out to the big dog, the general, over at the Do Better Podcast, the one and only Theo Coop over there sitting real nice on 95,000 subscribers. 100K on the way. We moving, man. If you are not subscribed to the Do Better Podcast, go over, hit the subscribe button. We about to get Theo over this last little hump, and it's a Come little on. hump. It's Come actually, on. you know, he down. It's all downhill, really. So, oh, we should have been over there acting a monkey over there for the hundred K celebration, y'all bull jiving. Yeah, come on now. Come on. Come on. It's Black History Month. Theo, come on, man. Shame these ninjas. <laughs> yeah, so if you're in the chat right now, you are not subscribed, head over to the Do Better Podcast. Go on ahead. Somebody drop uh, Theo's link in the chat. We get this 100K celebration on the way. It's been well overdue. Even if you're coming in for the replay, make sure y'all head over and subscribe. There you go. Hit the like button as well. Here we go, folks. Let's go. Yes, police me. All right. 
Um, do you do you want children? I do, I would like children too. No more than no two. more than two. Okay, okay. So you do. So you probably okay. I got you. Okay. So what type of man are you looking for? Um, um, a handsome, attractive man, a funny man, a stable man, someone that has ambition in his interests and he progress and emotionally evolved man. Um, I need attention and affection and someone that can communicate how they feel so that we can coordinate. Um, I love my black on. men. Oh, no. Ooh, black I history would month. prefer my man to be black, but you know, I, if my love is outside of my race, I don't know, I, I might miss him, but I'm open, I think. I don't know if I can promote that on Black History Month. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about promoting that during Black History Month. You know, if you want to, I accept if, that. I if you want to, if you want to date interracially, start March first. Heard that. So yeah, my Black okay. man's okay. Hit me up, brother. And here we go, <laughs> back to back to back. If you missed the Regal Rumble last night, shout out to Ebony K. Williams, Ebony K. from the horse's mouth said dating out is not the answer she said she's done it she get treated the same way it ends the same maybe yes. y'all need to look within self mm -hmm. <laughs> what was he the queen saying yes and at the rico rumble she said well she wasn't really trying to listen <laughs> he the queen she said if if melanated women are doing better with brad and chad then shouldn't melanated men change and be more like them it's like no, cause they ain't. Brad and Chad ain't different. They ain't. Bon we should either get the same result as Ebony K said, or or they acting real different. As other sisters have came on in there and said, said yeah, we act different around Brad and Chad because we know they won't tolerate it. But you sympathetic, baby face listening to men brothers, y'all gonna take these sisters yelling at y'all, disrespecting y'all. Poking y'all in y'all forehead, y'all got to be insane. And I'll tell you what, it's not completely off the table. Her, the last sister, them dating out, she looked like a divester. The thing is, you will look at the man that she chooses to divest with. He will be subpar and watch the level of respect and submission that he get out of her. Why you simply couldn't do that for a brother is beyond me. There you go. Something we got to figure out in 2024. Love that brother. Yeah, because they're not they're not dating out going to date Brad Pitt and George Clooney and them. You understand? Like you said, the the Brad they going to date, he he wants to be black. Y'all know who he is. He got the fade. All right. Or even worse, like you said, he's gonna be a real white, you know, I mean a real guy. He in the house playing Mario Kart. He got hair on his back. Oh, y'all know this, but it ain't it ain't yeah. That He's part. The hairy back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, shout out to the beast. He says, Fantasia, no better than to be up here. <laughs> yeah. Well, Fantasia got a man now. Huh? If you don't want me, don't you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we got a cash app here. <laughs> shout out. Y'all can't see that, but shout out to uh, who we got here. Scrooge McDuckin. Oh, man, Scro <laughs> Scrooge McDuckin come through with a fitty ball in the cash app, Mr. Walker. My man, Scrooge McDuckin, one of my favorite Scrooge names. <laughs> That's how you support your interest. Appreciate you, Scrooge McDuckin. What's up? So shout out to Scrooge McDuckin. Then have nothing to say, no skip, nothing, just supporting the show. My man Scrooge McDuckin. <laughs> Appreciate <it's> dangerous. <laughs> so we're gonna let her land this plane. Here we go, folks. Okay. All right, there it is. Um, 
Does he, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Uh, yes. This is reasonable. At least a hundred thousand. You think that's reasonable? Yes, absolutely. In a New York, yes. I mean, I know you're in New York, but what percentage of people do you think make that? Uh, I don't know what, what percentage make that. You say you don't give a damn. Okay, mind, right, I got you. Okay, so don't y'all brokies be ringing me down. Okay. okay. To your bro, she <laughs> said, "Don't play with." All right, hundred K. You want to get your face dirty? Huh? Open your mouth and give God, give God, give, 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 give to the giver, give God. Shout out to these nuts. Hey, these nuts gonna stop sending us stuff to the email. Y'all know he wild these nuts. Oh man, these nuts, my hero. Hey, listen. Yeah, these since her ass got all big. She said, Not my man, Zach. I know what you're going to say, but my man make a hundred K. All you brokies, stay away. See that? See that? See how they can just, you know. Uh, emasculated men say dusty and sisters. That's why I say don't be so sensitive. We get it. Some men that they broke, you broke with your broke self. Granted. Well, you dusty and you fat. <laughs> now <laughs> what? <laughs> like seriously, the guy you want don't want you, man. So go buy a dog. The Godfather's correct again. Mm. Shout out to TD Jakes. <laughs> Godly. Here we go. No, 100,000 ain't like places to go. People to see. And... Okay, okay. All right, there it is. Uh, what are your deal breakers? Um, children, I want, like, if if they have, like, an older child, like, babies, no. I Okay, I'll put a number on it. No younger than seven. Um, I need, like, a clean relationship, no drama, no weird kinks, like, no attachment to people that you are not trying to make a family with. Like, I need you. Um, someone that get back in the middle, like, you know, get back in the middle. You can there we go. Um, I can't hurt. <laughs> camera woman, thank you. Um, not too much debt, or at least like you're working towards it. Like, um, you got a plan, we got a plan, he got a plan, he got to come with a plan. Okay, there it is. All right, so you got your your stuff together. Sound like yes. Okay. What's the issue that you find dating? Find like what's what's the biggest issue? For me, um, I'm really picky. It's like I don't know. A lot of things give me the ick, and I don't know. <sighs> See, y'all. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I know it's me. I know it's me. I know. All right, listen, y'all picky ass women gonna be single. <laughs> All right, it's, oh my God. especially so, if, but, especially if you're talking only. about icks and little things, y'all gonna be pick. Y'all gonna be picky, and you are gonna pick yourself alone. Okay. I don't want that for myself. I pick do want love. Shit I want to be loved, and I have love to give. But gotta be the right okay. guy. Okay, I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying. Like you probably met decent guys, mm -hmm. but you can't. You you yeah, you like oh he. Don't see right. I was worry about the comments. They come on my long, my long time. Don't worry about it. Somebody come change. But y'all y'all be too picky. I've I've noticed no. that a lot of y'all be too picky. No, you know? I am very I'm very picky. Like you know God. you know how much stuff men look past when we be dating y'all. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> And I'm annoying too. We look past all y'all annoying this, 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 and we be like, yeah, but she could, she, she cool. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> you cool. I be crying. Well, I cook, I pay bills, I get massages, you know, I do, I dress nice, I make it hot, make it sexy. You know, I do my part, but okay. I still am very picky. So, all right. <laughs> and you single as French toast. So wonderful. So wonderful they you gotta take, be the men gotta be the men mr walker they take so much pride they they say they picky with their chest out 
Because understand, you it's a luxury to be picky. And that's why I'm picky. That's why they said, instead of saying, I'm confused, I really don't know what I want, which is the translation, I'm picky. Everything give me the ick, you know, stop. Look at, I'm trying to, it's unfortunate, but is that her daughter next to her? Her friend. She got uh, no kids. She got no kids. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. The delusion is, and she got 100K, I get it. Kind of. But yeah, let's see this Kendrick can. But yes, this sister, she ain't giving. She ain't giving the hundred k. Let's keep. She asked it for a hundred k. Man, coming here, no exceptions. Let's see. Here we go. That's what, the right one, Lord. What's your deal? <laughs> deal breakers. My deal breakers. Um, not too many kids. Not more. Not more than one. No. No more than one child. Um, I can't. I'm not trying to do a long distance, man. No long distance. I'm, okay, okay, okay. I, I'm trying to do a low, unless you have the means to like see me, <laughs> you know, but. No I, long distance, okay, exactly. I got you. Um, um, what age range oh, yeah. would you date? Yeah, Um. so 35 to 45. Okay, 30. 45 to 45. This is exciting. Days. I hope this works, but I'm... Um, who's, who's smoke detector is that? Right, leave it alone. I don't got nobody to change it. I'm not going up there. Just it's no hands. It's okay. No, it's no, no. no. The, the, man, the man that could... The I'm man that could that. change but it, y'all said he got an ick. Listen, I don't, know, I don't know what to do with it. If he has an ick for that, he definitely... Yeah, you, know, you, could have, you could have somebody to change it. I don't, and exactly. it's okay. I, I'll figure it out. Come on, back to her. It's not okay. That's a, it's, it's low key torture a little bit. You got. It. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not so bad. But I don't live here. I do have a cute little place. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's do the Kendra Cam real quick. Kendra Cam is what's where you, you show you your full body. Top, head to top. Oh wow. Okay. It's standing up. Oh wow. Okay. Let's go here. Now, sis, help. Her with the Kendrick cam. Uh, how do you do this yeah, camera? Yeah. What's the Kendrick cam? Sis, bag up. Yeah, Why are you so... Y'all got two people. There's no reason we shouldn't <laughs> do the camera. Get on the couch or something. No. The couch, she hiding her place, y'all. I'm sorry for math. I got children. Okay. You can speak. Let, we try. Okay. All right. I start turn around to... Uh-uh. Hell to the no. Ooh. To the no, no, no. Here to the nope. She mm. she talking about a thirty five year old man making a hundred k. What's this? Huh. See? <laughs> <laughs> is this? Do y'all not understand? This is giving auntie. Yeah, y'all calling her sponge pants? <laughs> what? Square? I said sponge pants. All that. Sponge square bob pants, whatever the heck his name is. That's what it's given. With a with a with a little bit of sprinkle of Patrick Star. Yeah, because she the the, the walk tastic build is there. It she sit down too much is what it's given. 30, 35, no kids. It's that's a lot of examples gonna be made here tonight. She 35, no kids, and y'all saw the front. She ain't got no kind of build to her. This ain't the game. And don't know about don't know man don't know Mister Six Figures well established want to enter into a new relationship brand new nothing established with this like because is it gonna get better are you gonna get into the gym now can we work this out no definitely can't because she up here demanding this wrong answer I, I vote to put her. In the sub or something. We're gonna put the first child. Ain't the first, but I wanna put her in the sub. She talked, she built like that. Honey K smoking rocks. That's all. Gonna throw my man Orlando on you. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking. Virginia. Give me some of that Virginia. <laughs> Here we go. Hit the like button. Okay, the <laughs> no, I'm sorry for math. I got children. Okay. You can free. We try. All right. I start turn around to. It's okay. I'm yeah. okay. 
There it is. Whoever likes it. All right. Now. Titties. She got titties. Okay. All it's right, okay. All right. so, Girl, so. Girl got to sexualize me the now. Fans? <laughs> they picky in the comments. I know y'all can do. They said you got them oh, yetis. Right. Them yum, yum. Right. Right. Okay. Full black yes. woman. All right. Sturdy. Been working okay. on her. And I'm strong. And I fight That's too. I fight too. I so no crazies. All right. Okay. All right. Chana. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't have to answer this, but when's the last time you were intimate with somebody? Up top bars. <laughs> I don't kiss and tell, but you know, I don't kiss the, and tell. It's been a long time. It's been a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? It is. <laughs> <laughs> what, would you, what would you? What would you? What would you say is your three flaws when it comes to um, a relationship? My three claws. Flaws. Oh, flaws. flaws. I don't know what you mean. Three like. Why flaws like three things that you need to work on when it comes to dating um communication like coordinating things sometimes i'm like super spontaneous like um i just i want to do things when i can do it like in the moment um sometimes oh reassurance um i'm not that emotionally intelligent people will say i'm cold but um if you need like nurturing, like you just gotta vocalize that to me. So that's why I need my man to be emotionally intelligent to know when I'm getting drained. Um, well, you ain't gonna get any, no, no, he gonna get no nurturing. He gotta tell you. So you <laughs> want him to be like, need some nurturing. <laughs> Look, you know, I'll give you a little background. Like, oh, you had a tough day today. You know, I ask about your day. Like, I'll talk about it, but like, if you start crying, it would be weird. Yeah, you tough as hell. Yeah, you. I mean, you could call a friend. Who is your bestie, bro? Like, that's crazy. You know, men. You know, men. We look to our women to be able to feel safe and vulnerable, and you know, um, have that nurturing touch. Yeah. You're gonna be like. I'm not perfect. Y'all hear yeah. it first. Okay. Yeah. Come here. That's fine. He gonna go right down the street to Bonquisha. And Bonquisha, yeah. Hold on. We got a perfect drop for you. You you wanna keep playing, right? She said, no, you better call one of your boys up. I ain't got I, I'm not a shoulder to cry on. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> uh here we go. Huh. You ain't gotta go home tonight. Stay right here with me. <laughs> All right. That's mm -hmm. it. Man, there you go. Take the break out your Kindle fires. What is the number one reason men, good men, will step out? What do they search for? Don't listen to Orlando. It ain't no Virginie. Ain't looking for that. It's femininity and nurturing, i.e., femininity. And she said, I bet you, well, you had a hard day, ninja, whatever. And he, Mr. One, Mr. 100 cake, but all right, you know, hey, I got a little business meeting, you know. Don't don't wait up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and no, guess who? He's going to hit her with the. We knew what it was when we became a part of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> See, don't do it. She liked to fight. She ain't feminine at all. She blowed out and she won't she won't him. What do he get really? Mr. 100 K to make a 100 K on US soil takes a lot of blood, sweat and a little bit of tears. And he all he get is a dry ass back rub. He'd be out the door in no time. And another thing, rest in peace to the Godfather. Single women keep women single. Mm. And. Here's the biggest elephant in every room. A woman like her, not the problem is her man, she got low standards, if you ask me, as do most women. The high standards come from her friend sitting next to her. She has to approve this ninja. And if mm -hmm. you don't show up in there, if you ain't what y'all talk about, y'all sit around, y'all watch these movies and stuff, y'all know what y'all dream men, y'all both know what y'all both desire. And if you walk up in this house with anything short of what we dream about, we done dreamt about this. You better bring them. We both going to stay single unless we bring this dream man in here. Yep. And then it get crazier. Now she going to bring, as Gavin said, they dream man in. Because we know the logic. Women see they female friend with they male counterpart. 
and they don't sit and say, oh, I would like a man like that. No, women, y'all don't necessarily think like that. Y'all say, I want that ninja right there, him. That one you just walked in with. So it's all foobar. Even if she do bring Mr. Dream Man home, now they got it. Or to her friend, it's going to be some tussling going on. Believe that. Yeah, at this point, y'all better off with each other and just. It's going down. I'm yelling to my. Don't just start, just, just start don't scissoring do timbers. No, no, scissor them do. timbers. It's over, right? Your girlfriend, I see y'all in the chat. Her girlfriend is sitting right next to her, all right? Don't do it. See, here's the thing. We know how this go. You know, her friend probably over there, They she probably the aggressor, and she getting her drunk. She's like, go on, Kendra, find you a man. But the whole time, her friend got insidious intentions. So like, I'm going to keep getting you on this Casamigos, and we're going to scissor before Hate is up. That's all. It's going down. I'm yelling to my... <laughs> hey, there see, hey, shout out to the sisters. Y'all could do that. Sisters could act this in this way, and and it's uh no harm, no foul. But not dudes. Get that understood. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Here we go. Hit the like button, folks. We're gonna get to these super chats in a second. I'm gonna let her land this plane. I'm not perfect. Y'all yeah. hear it first. Okay. Yeah. Communicate, I'm working reassure. On that. Working on that. What's your third one? Oh, no, no water signs. Uh, sorry, I am into that. Compatibility yeah. stuff. No water signs. Please keep the okay. Pisces away from me. I don't I don't know all the water signs. What are the water signs? <laughs> I see red flag. <laughs> yeah, you red. You walk from red flag. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna have to double back and read this. Um, it it's funny. Cancer, <laughs> Pisces, and uh, Scorpios. I tried with the Scorpios. They're cute, soft, and emotional. Like just the right touch, but crazy possessive. All right, why this is madness? Um, picky. I'm picky. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, why would somebody want you to be? <laughs> Checklister, it's true. Like what they say about us. That, that, yeah. I guess okay. I'm looking for God. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Yeah. I, I mean, I... shout out to Theo. Theo come through just in time. This was actually just wished to half off shorty Theo. So you still got some of that in your pocket. We appreciate you. Theo come through say, I did a poll on my stream Friday. I asked the chat who actually made over 100K. 400 people, only 27% of the audience made that. Majority of the people make under 100K. Thank you, YouTube, because Coop balling now. Oh, and skip, please. Yeah. Love it. Shout out to the brother Theo Coop. Our infield correspondent, appreciate you for the data and statistics. We collecting data. We doing this is the work. The work ain't done. The work shall never be done. So you're welcome. So there you go. Shout out to Theo. He said out of 400 people, you know, a little over 100 of them made it. You know, then you got to account for the women in the room. Might be what, Theo, what, 20, 25%. So it might be 20 out of that 400 people, you know. Maybe maybe ten women. So there you go. Not even because I would say majority of that's men. Maybe like three women in there made over hundred k. Hmm. Yeah. This, yeah. This is the here man. Yeah. She ain't talking cash money. Yeah, this is sick work. No kids. Blow it up. Where's she going? Space. The bottom of the sea. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what it was. The water signs. What is see? Yeah. Stop the Aquarius slant. I don't. I don't, I can't, I'm sorry. No disrespect to anybody, but I'm having a hard time putting people in boxes because of the day they was born. That's that's effing weird to me. Like, oh, you this. So that means you're going to do this, you're going to do that. You That means you're going to act this way. So she she in Aquarius, she says she, she can't do Pisces. I'm an Aquarius and I'm married to a Pisces. My, my best friend is a Pisces. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> so here we go. I'll say we got some super chats here, Mr. Walker. Uh, let's see what we left off. Shout out to Divine Photos. Appreciate you. 
says, we've seen so many divestor L's the last few years, Rachel Lindsay, Ebony K, and many more. So keep thinking Brad is the answer. Mm -hmm. He ain't. He ain't. <laughs> Shout out to the current standard CEO. Says, Walker singing Fantasia? The <laughs> She demanded 100K with that wild hair? Well, go ahead and free yourself, <laughs> Fantasia voice. Is this camera on me? Yes, it is. <laughs> Shout out to Gianda, man. <laughs> Gianda gonna work Kels out. Kels got to get out. We're gonna get exclusive with Kels. <laughs> right. Appreciate your divine photos. Says I'm convinced modern women fail math. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Appreciate your brother Rashad. Says no, nah, fellas. She need the full band. The F wrong with her. Okay. That part. <laughs> money, 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 money. Shout out to Damon. Come through to ten dollars. Says take girl holding the phone is her lady. They trying to con a sucker. She's the pretty one between them. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. These women, bunch of gypsies. Man, shout out to the beast. Says, wait, is this woman not holding each other accountable? Allowing one to act a fool on live within reality? Is this not evidence? Hell what they yourself. all fools? Like you said, normally when it's one, like so they, they ain't like one of them a fool and the other ones, they both in there cackling, acting goofy. Mm -hmm. No accountability in there. Mm -hmm. Birds of a feather, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, skinny boy. Sorry, fellas. Baby Harriet Tubman or Flocka Bak. Oh, I thought I said Flocka Baka. Ah, shit. Flatback Bay. Oh. <laughs> Flatback Bay. She ain't got no kids. So, they, you know, that, that helped. I don't know if Harry had none. This, this, could, this is just L's. I'm going to say shout out to the mask man. He come back through in the cash app. He said, save up 100K for Auntie Easter's body and her friend. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> See what I'm saying? BBS for both of them, huh? <laughs> and my guy, Theo. You get that money. Money. Gotta get that money, oh, money, and I'm gonna get it, <laughs> and it won't stop, and it don't stop, and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Theo, you are now one of the show sponsors, along with Scrooge McDuck, and I gotta get that thing updated down here. Uh, appreciate y'all. This woman here, though, the band, Mr. Walker. Over. Uh, Everybody, examples. Listen here. The beatings will continue until morale improves. Yeah, it's over. It's over. We're breaking out the whips and chains. It's over. Everybody get it. Life. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, over the hills, through the woods, sister. Um, let me get this. Here we, we go. Like the, we like the mean teacher, baby. Everybody get attention. <laughs> <laughs> Arrested development it was definitely in the room. This woman, 35, your child. And a lot of times when they childless, you know, they don't grow up. There you go. Talk about it. Yeah, the pressures of a kid going to force you to grow up. Guarantee that. And she 35, man. No kids and built like that. Good luck. She, You going to go tell her what to do? You going to go not tell her what to do. <laughs> you going to go in there and guide her and instruct her to do better by her physical fitness at 35, the way she talking? She ain't even nurturing. What you about to go say to her? And no. what's the chances that her friend is sitting there fit and for you know some gym rat? She just as blowed out. They there like going go. to you know eating crab boils and stuff together and mm, crab boils. Listen, you don't want them problems. Sisters like that with friends like that. Her friend got kids. Y'all don't want that. Y'all do not want them problems. And her friend ain't married. Guarantee it. Ain't married with her friend standing on her couch. <laughs> ain't no husband gonna allow ain't no husband gonna allow their wife's friend to come stand on their couch she ain't married <laughs> there we go we're getting back into it all skips are 40 hit the like button folks 
Janae, yeah. and I'm calling from Maryland, like the DMV area. Janae. Um, yes. Maryland. Yeah. DMV. How old are you? I am 36. 36, okay. What's your zodiac sign? I am a Virgo. Okay. She's a Virgo. You got any kids? I have one son. How old you? What's your son? My son is 15. Oh. Okay. Okay, you almost, you almost done. Uh, you almost that's, that's what they say, but you never stop being a mom. Uh, but, you know, hopefully, I'm raising him right. We're raising him right. So, hopefully, he'll be self-sufficient, and I will be that's, almost done. Right. Um, you want any more kids? Uh, I am on the fence. So, I do think that I do want at least one more, but if I don't have another child, I'll be okay. Like I would, if a person that I'm dating has kids, I'm also fine with that. Um, like I'm not going to be hurt if I don't have another child. I definitely feel like I would like to at least work with kids because mm -hmm. I just love being nurturing. I love being pregnant. I love being a mom, yeah. but I don't know if I want to start from scratch, but I am open to that in the right situation. I got you. I got you. Uh, what you do for a living? I am a business owner, so I own a vintage clothing brand. Um, so I do pop-ups, and I am also an actress. I know my friend would hit me if I didn't say that, but um, I'm just an overall creative person. I'm nervous. I'm reading the comments. They like, is she on something? I'm so nervous. I'm so shy. <laughs> like, okay. So you're a business owner, and you sell vintage clothes, and you're an actress? Yes writer producer just the creative um so i like the arts the performing arts creative arts all of have that. you ever been married i have never been married all right you want to be married yes all right let's get it this is shanae out of maryland in the dmv area she's 36 she's a virgo um she has one son that's 15. um she's a business owner sells vintage clothes um, actress, writer, overall creative, never been married. What type of man are you looking for? All right. Before she do, I see y'all. Hell! She, she got this Tubi wig on. It ain't... Lord can't, have mercy. Can't see past it. I can't that hear wig nothing. is shameful. That is shameful. Oh. Ladies, 2024, we on y'all tail. This is, this is what I'm saying. These eligible sisters, all y'all eligible married minded sisters out there, y'all are killing 97% roughly, all right? 97% of your chances at a respectable man because of that hair helmet on y'all head. I promise you, take it, take my word for what it's worth. Can't see past that. Can't see. I, I see, I see lack of discipline, I see laziness. And and funky pillows. Yeah, too know. young. Cause last time we put an age threshold on it, like you said, if y'all ain't up 55, 60 north of that, we can't even reason and ration with you. You mm -hmm. understand? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, that come on, man. Like I know how you do that wig on quick. You just walk and out the dough, barely combed it or brushed it. Don't do it, please. So here we go. Uh, and we get divine photos. Nope. Appreciate your divine photos. Come through. Says treat a dating show like a job interview, and at a job interview, your homegirl not there with you, or or and you not drunk. Do better. Shout out to Theo. Coop. Speaking of Theo, he come through. Shout out to the big dog. Says she she got that Ashley Dalton wig. Mm hmm. See what I'm saying? God, no. Woo! That's his first right. wig. That's his right. first wig was terrible. Like she got the hey, new first. Wig. Damn near everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got some of the worst wigs I've ever seen. She yeah, did. she made Kendra look like she got natural, you know, right out her skull hair. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Here we go. I am looking for a family man who is active in his community. Um, definitely needs to be a stand-up guy. Definitely has to be a provider. Doesn't have to be rich, but definitely needs to be hardworking and take pride. He has to take pride in being like, you know, 
So, uh, the head of the household, he has to take pride in that. Okay. So. So you want you want to pay all the bills? I would like for him to pay pay most of the bills, not all of the bills, but most of them. Okay, there it is. Does he have to look a certain way? Um, I don't have a preference when it comes to looks. He doesn't have to be like a bodybuilder. Definitely, I want someone who is mindful of their health and what they put into their body. Um, I am short. I'm five feet, so I do not have a height requirement. Um, like the young lady before said, I would prefer that he be taller than me or taller than me in heels because I do like to give a platform or a pump, you know, when I go out. <laughs> so, you know, if we're looking eye to eye in a, in a five inch heel or a six inch platform, that's cool. So, um, Elijah, can you turn the stove? Fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? She goes, she say a five inch heel or a six inch platform I'm, I'm looking for a ruler because <laughs> yeah at least six 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 inch She's heel ripping six inch golly is that is that stripper activity six inch heel it, just, it ain't no logic but she just talking to what I didn't is this camera on me yes it's on. that's stupid use your common sense like at this point, these women are self-sabotaging. Like saying something like that, the man got to be tall because I wear six inch heels. Just say you don't want to date and you don't want a man. Like, well, that's a tall ass heel. <laughs> six inches? Yeah, that's what, I mean, like most women wear two, three inch. She, like I said, this is, this is on the lines of self-sabotaging at this point. Huh. There you go. That when she got her six inch heels, she she got to be at the least bit looking at, or you got to be taller. Whatever, whatever. Another six oh. to add to it. Six foot tall, six inch weenie, six inch heels. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Elijah, <laughs> turn it down. Turn it down. See, you got you got to talk like a black mama. You ain't talk like a. She said, Elijah, can you please tell me? You know, <laughs> black mama be like, Bob, you don't check that goddamn stove, Jack. Yes, but we also have to be mindful of how we talk to our our young men because. Amen. What? He not, not, not oh, Lord, you embarrassing I'm not, me. I'm, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking, sir. I'm not, I'm not just, but I try, I try not to scream at him because I think that a lot of black men have internalized trauma from like how women in their family may have spoken to them. So I do. Try. No, I get it. I was joking. Yeah. Was okay. Just, that whole house about to turn up. So I, don't <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't take jokes in Maryland. Well, All right. tell you what, for, you got the bone quiche your wig on, but like I said, we do agree. I mm -hmm. couldn't agree with that more. Like, especially like I said, a lot of brothers out here. That's why a lot of this rage is strong. Like I said, a mm -hmm. lot of these guys. Mm. I tell you what, but did you that young man? Yeah, Zach was up here joking, but that young man came. He said, I think he said, eh, my daddy talked to me like that. <laughs> okay, I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. Back yeah, before. there you go. Yeah, he did. He said, he said Zach ain't my daddy. <laughs> And okay, well, there you go. Holy <laughs> hell. <laughs> well, I would say in this moment, in this moment, there is no big, we thought that damn wig was a red flag. Incorrect. Her son, she got a kid in the house. He wanted them, you ain't my daddy kids. He, he just said it. He couldn't wait. He said, hold up. He says, there a man trying to give me instruction? You ain't my daddy. <laughs> so there we go, man. You walk into this house, deal with this woman. Don't come crying victim to us. Get out our face. Come on now. He didn't already said it. Y'all uh, don't know. Y'all y'all must be hurt. They, they, them kids ain't going to say you ain't my daddy. Thank you, Kendra. Thank you for exposing the cold, unfortunate truth that is the reality of some of these uh, stepfathers. The you ain't my daddy. He, he, even Zach got exposed to it. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Um, you said he doesn't have to make a certain amount. Of, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Did I ask you that? I know you want him to be a provider. No. Is there a dollar um, amount? I don't have a dollar amount. I don't have a dollar amount. Um, but I think you need to make a livable wage for 
where we live and the DMV area is pretty expensive. So I don't want to be struggling. I would like to live a comfortable middle class <laughs> life. She said, I don't need no struggle, love. I heard that. <laughs> what are your deal breakers? Oh, um, my deal breakers are definitely dishonesty, um, poor hygiene, and infidelity coupled with dishonesty. So those are my, my deal breakers, poor hygiene, dishonesty, especially when it like comes to finances or like where you been. Like, you know, if I'm asking questions, chances are I know the answer. So, yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay. <laughs> what age range you want to date? Um, I tend to like 36. 40 and over. 40 okay. and over over usually like 45 and older 45 like 40 and older if you're mature if you're a mature 40 year old then you, you won't miss mr charles too that's i i'm realizing that's the sweet spot not mr Steve. charles maybe a mr Derek, fellas, a mr brian fellas i have realized this okay the sweet <laughs> spot you need to get to about 45 50. everybody wants you when you get that age because you you've done most of the things and you started to mature y'all listen anyway that's what you think that's is that what's going on with my 45 50 year olds y'all simping out y'all crashing out shout out to my guy anton y'all <laughs> crashing out y'all <laughs> crashing out that's what they said she said they too smart when they're young but once they get about 45 50 they crash out for this kuda mm-hmm granted granted we know the game she, she told I don't believe me. it. What my what the OGs in the chat? Y'all doing this? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, y'all is. I'm calling y'all out. This she pull up on y'all late night, and this it is what it is. Uh, y'all gonna put her in that Cadillac, <laughs> and it is what it is. Y'all gonna pay a phone bill. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna buy her son some school supplies. It's cool. It's cool. Do you think? I see y'all saying no in the chat, and like I said, rest in peace to the Godfather. I know one thing he was saying, he used to say over there was, you know, when these women would say this, oh, I want an older guy, 50, 60. Kevin would say, you know older don't mean he deaf, blind, and dumb. He still wants something. He, he's just hitting his stride. He wants the most he's ever wanted. His, she his said price otherwise. Tag, he got the highest price tag at that point. She said otherwise. She said they older and they ain't as smart, they ain't as quick and witty. Yeah, I so mean, as a said, woman, it makes sense for a woman to think like that, but it's stupid. Mm -hmm. It is. It really is. <laughs> they yeah. understand. It's a different game with those guys. Yeah, they think a little cell phone bill, a little tennis shoe, that little 50 year old thing, Kate, like whatever. Meet me at the red roof. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Charles. I mean, listen. Mr. Charles, I mean, that is in heavy demand. He taking somebody else fishing every weekend. A new one on the lake. Y'all ain't gonna find him because he don't make the best that. woman win. He ain't, got no, <laughs> he ain't got no social media, he don't got no Wi Fi. No, nah, I'm just I'm messing. He yeah. does, he be lurking on that hair page. You don't know it's him, but it's him. I know. Oh, you can date this <laughs> Mr. Charles. Okay, I see. Uh, <laughs> would you date long distance? Um, I would, but I would, you know, I wouldn't take it too seriously. Okay, okay, would dates. So, what does that mean? So, is it yes or no? Yes, I would date someone, but it would be dating. I wouldn't expect that person to be 100% faithful right out the gate. Okay, okay. So you wouldn't take it too serious. Yeah. Okay. All right, it's time for everybody's favorite part of the show. This is Kendra Cam. Um, if you're not familiar, this is where you stand up so we can see you, your full everything, your full thing. Top of I your have on pajamas. Yeah, I'm going to put on my Okay, dang. Let's see. I thought that was one of your vintage outfits. I ain't know those for <laughs> exactly. yeah, your vintage outfits. Okay. Let's see. So this is me. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. So here yeah. we are. I got beans and bologna. Yeah. And and not to hit on. She got that teenage son walk around and she got them yams out just walk around the house. I don't know how y'all feel about that. That's... 
But she built how y'all like. So here we are. Where we at, chat? All that aside. Where we at? Where we at, fellas? Y'all ready to go play Step Daddy? Yeah. Y'all ready to go play uh, Step Daddy to that spry 15-year-old? He's going to punch you right in your nose. (laughs) What did she say about money? How old is she? So that's you, honey K. She said, she said you got to be able to make enough, and the DMV is expensive. Got to read between oh. the lines. Okay, expensive. <laughs> so she built Brazy side piece at best. There is light at the end of the tunnel. It's just a side piece tunnel, though. If if her son is into any sports, <laughs> you know what? Right? Her son into any sports. I'm trying to tell you something. Them coaches on her tail. How they walk in there? They said, "Listen here, Miss Bonquisha, your son got a lot of talent. He's talented. I can. I'm gonna take care of him. You understand? I'm gonna take good care of him. You know what I'm saying? You just take care of me." <laughs> yeah. Everybody up in the chat right now, like, <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking. Virginia, give me some of that Virginia. All right. I see y'all. I see y'all. That's uh, all y'all won't. Y'all nasty. <laughs> shout out to shout out to Crystal. Y'all horny. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. So this is me. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Is that I hate that. Yep. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <sighs> Hey, 36 Virgo, one son, 15, business on the act, actress, writer, creative, never been married, looking for a family man, active in the community, um, looking to date somebody 40 and 45 and older. We got you. Okay. <laughs> All right, Shanae, you don't have to answer this, but when's the last time you was intimate with somebody? Intimate? Wow. Um. Um, last weekend. She said it like you ain't like <laughs> last what weekend. Is he a, is he an option? Not at the present moment, no. Oh He's actually gotten dismissed. From last weekend, what happened? Why you did Last weekend? That's all she care about. Cannon pump and pump. Cannon pump and pump. It's over. It's uh, over. It's over. We got to stop. Holy you God. ladies are not men. You can't dismiss no dude from no weekend bash session. He ain't dismissed. He 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 go. He, he good. Mission accomplished on his end. This is talking about he, he dismissed. And you emotional about it. Let him call you talking jive and he'll be back over there for another weekend. All right. Stop. I ain't even gonna stop. Nasty. You a nasty heifer. Nasty. Thank God your son wasn't. I don't know. I, I, it's I, all I, bad. I hate for the kids. Out. Yeah, we gotta break the ice on this one, folks. This is sick. Last week. Oh, Amazing. <laughs> It knocks me right off of my feet. I'm so glad. Can't explain how when I pick you up, it makes me (laughs) win. What? What are y'all hooked up on? On question. She's nasty. See how they go over this woman. I can't last week. Last week, and no shame. Somebody was just, y'all like them? Still smoking last weekend. And shout out to the chat. Every time people try to give y'all pushback, this is why the chat be saying the stuff they be saying. This is why these women are 304s and they all. She belongs to the streets. Because as soon as you try to give somebody some grace, this happens. So it's safe to assume they all 304s. What y'all got to say now? What you got to say? The, the son all upset and hurt, got trauma. Can't no man say nothing to him because he ain't his daddy. The mama up here sexualized like a mamma jamma, yams out, just hunching. 
Y'all know what this is, man. An over-sexualized environment that way too many of us grew up in. I don't like it. And that wig. She's sitting there. I knew I really disliked her when she kept stroking that nasty hair that don't belong to her. She, was, I'm like, stop that. Stop for it. Come off. Here we go, folks. Dismiss them. <laughs> Where is Ebony the Cougar right now? She set me up for this. Um, He is a very public figure, and I had to be... We've been on and off, not on and off. We met like 12 years ago. We dated and I was scared because I don't really go for like the popular guy, the jock, the, you know, Mr. All the attention. That's not my vibe. Um, so we kept in touch over the years and we kind of reconnected back in November. So we've been dating and I really had to be real with myself. I, I would like the option to have another child. He's older, he has four kids, and he's not married any of those moms. And so I had to be realistic with his pattern. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're probably not gonna get commitment from this person. Seeing as though he is a public figure, he has multiple kids, he clearly does not value commitment because he would have married one of those women that he created families with. So I had to be realistic and remove myself from the situation. You just figured that out last week? What? Over the past month, but you know, you people don't respect boundaries and you get comfortable. You're familiar with the person. You don't want to start over with a whole new person. You know what she's so saying. I really had to just shut it down. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. Hunching. I know one thing. I said that you was a uh, Did y'all not? I'm going to help y'all out. She said, she said, you know how it is. You know what I'm saying? You're familiar with a person. You don't really want to do nothing new. So, you know, we was just we was just hunching like rabbit, Zach. That's all. That's all. You know, I'm got trauma bond, you know, soul ties, all that. But after years, I said, you know what? You just gonna keep hunching on me, huh? You're gonna keep hunching on me. And I'm keep having all these pregnancy scares. I'm over this. <laughs> she didn't had it. <laughs> you muted. Yeah, I said this sister got no shame. I see y'all in the chat. Uh, got some super chats here. This is, I can't even. <laughs> Nasty. Uh, Appreciate you, Mr. Mr. Says, Bish look like Joe Jackson. <laughs> Shout out to the beast. Says, hygiene. Chick, where is your real hell? Fabrication must come to an end. Kings and kings do not be deceived by these Jezebels. Stand on business. Shout out to the beast. <laughs> Appreciate you, B. Wyatt. Says they talk to their oldest son like he's the boyfriend. And it is sick. Uh. Appreciate your project, Leroy. He says, Nug Nug got videos and pics of their gang violence. Probable. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Shout out to Ash Rogers. He says women should never cap off the age perimeter. She never, okay. They shouldn't cap it off. Fair. Shout out to Flo, the raging bull. Says she was smashing Lamar Odom. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, seemed about right. Look, she looking right now. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. That's that look. That's that was, look. And y'all was hunching. Rotation work. Here we go. You're with a person. You don't want to start over with a whole new person. So I really had to just shut it down. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. What do you what do you think of your three falls, Shanae? The things that you need to work on? Uh, um I am, <laughs> I'm strict. Um, like I don't like the dating phase. So if you're seeing multiple women, that's really not gonna really work for me. I, if you're coming over here, like it needs to be an attention of relationship. And I really feel like you can't really gauge that unless you are being intentional with the time that you spend with a person. Um, and what's about to say? My other thing is I definitely do have 
trust issues. I've definitely gotten better with that. Um, I am in therapy, so I'm I'm definitely mindful of my flaws. And Shout I think therapy. Shout out to therapy. <laughs> for real therapy is a good yeah. thing i think everybody should go yeah. but go ahead um and i take that very seriously so i definitely want my partner to be whether they go to a therapist whatever they do to improve themselves um i think that's a wonderful thing um i need a third one um um i don't know maybe i can be a bit impatient I, well, I think I will say, like, I require a lot of stimulus. Like, I don't want to be bored. I am an mm. adventurous person, like the young lady said previously. I like to do things. I like to move and shake. Yeah, y'all like, y'all. So you I like, like to from, travel. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be skydiving. Okay. Imp impatient yeah. and adventurous. I mean, adventurous isn't a bad thing. I don't, th I don't think that can be looked at as a flaw. Mm. It's just, a, it's kind of like a preference. Yeah, but usually if you you dating someone that's forty eight. He ain't, he's not jumping into cenotes in Mexico. Well, y'all over there, y'all <laughs> want Mr. Charles, but then y'all want Mr. Charles to act like he's twenty five. Yeah. He ain't gonna act like that. he's fifty five. He's fifty five. Well, I didn't say fifty five. I I didn't. Yeah, forty five and up. Up to like forty eight. Like forty nine is a cutoff. I really don't want to date someone super old, but I do like to travel. I like live music. I like going out to restaurants. I like cooking. I I, I like art. I like museums, theater. Like I, I like, like bowling too, but you know, let's do something. Right, right. She belongs to the streets. And like my guy Boozy once said, I miss the old days. <laughs> bring back everything fucking old. The niggas, bring them all back from the grave. <laughs> I miss the old day. I miss the old women. I miss the old mute. I miss the old day. You just said some shit. Hey, man. Oh. Bring it all back. Yeah, me and myself, I got an ancient, so I done had enough of this. Yeah, I ain't, she said I need I need to be stimulated. She said, I need high stimuli. <laughs> yeah, because you know I need to be stimulated at all times. I can't get bored. F around and let me get bored, and you're gonna F around and find out what a black pill feels like. Yeah, see, that's why she can't do Mr. Charlie 55. And no, uh, she said he can't stimulate this. I got listen here, I done been using this rose and this and this plug in thing. My my nerve endings is a little numb, so you got to come with ultra stimulation just to keep me at ground zero. And we, man, y'all know. I'm gonna give her her final words because we we got to get to the feature this because this ain't even it. Here we go. Golly, <laughs> uh, I feel you. Okay, why you think you single? Um, cause I'm impatient. Mm -hmm. Okay, single because you're impatient. So what does that mean? Like when you dating somebody, you just be done. Yeah, okay. I just like wake up and be over okay. it. And okay. all right, so you <laughs> well, sometimes like I I don't like if you show me who you are, right or wrong, I'm just gonna make my decision and I'm gonna remove myself. But um, and I'm also like I'm very content with being by myself as well. So I don't have, and I think because I also had a son, I don't have that internal clock or that like sense of urgency to yeah. like get into a relationship or have a kid. Like I've done that, yeah. so. Right. I'm pretty much okay with. Okay. Why would somebody be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm very thoughtful. Um, I'm very caring and nurturing. I am lots of fun and I am loyal when I'm in a committed relationship. And even if I'm not in a committed relationship, I'm definitely a monogamous person. Um, and I think I just add a lot of happiness um, and groundedness to a person's life. There it is. How you want people to reach out to you? On my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is Shanae Badu. So you can follow me or my business page is Chrysalis76. Either one. Yeah. All right, then. All right. <laughs> thank you, Shanae. All right. Thank you. I said. I'm, I got, I'm over this woman. I ain't 
been this over a woman in a long time. Yeah. But yeah, it's over. I, I really want to see her experience the beautiful bioluminescence of the blind man. I really want her to experience that. I do. That's it. <laughs> well, first, first we're gonna let uh T Money get her, get his get his uh let him glaze the buns. Then he what that T Money? <laughs> I got forty dollars. Forty dollars today. And if you nasty, I throw in sixty. If you nasty. All right. All right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> My Trump, can you look at the hell? What'd you say, Gav? You got to make sure them 20s, they stuck together. Hell Trump. yeah. I don't know if y'all ever got no, uh, I don't know if y'all ever got, that's T-Money. Them is fresh. That's right off the mint. And that fresh money, it be sticking to each Trump money. Let me make sure I don't hit her 80 or 100. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Trump say he, he understand the power of the transaction. He said, if I mess around and hand her 80, that, that's instant inflation. But I'm like, whoa, T Money gave me 80. We up. And, and there you go. Now she be going to everybody saying, no, it ain't 40. It ain't 60 if I'm nasty. It's 80. And they're like, who paid you 80? And they're going to say, T Money. Mm, guess that's the price. <laughs> so here we go, Bonquisha, to the bioluminescence. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. Can't remember what she said. She said something egregious, man. What did she say? She said something wild. Can't remember, but yeah, don't like that woman. Don't like it at all. Yeah, she did the Kendra Cam. I was gonna see if I could rewind it for y'all. Here we go. We'll bring this back up because this is where everybody was seeing. Oh, please. Okay, let's see. So this is me. Oh. So y'all right. see that? She was just hunching last week, and that's what it was. <laughs> and everybody like where that fell. Y'all up here. That we were Got a big old booty, and everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. All right, <laughs> y'all saying she blowed out. We understand, but she in her pajamas. Y'all stop. I'm so over this. <laughs> I I would dare the man to be in her presence and she be with the business and be like, come on, let's get to it. And y'all be like, no, you blowed out. Shut up. Stop. Yeah, this woman here, like my guy said. A big old booty. And everybody says, she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo-doo is, boy. But nonetheless, like you said, I mean, she going to be doing this for the next however many years till she hit the wall. I mean, there is a sub. She's not going to find a man to value somebody to commit to her. But no. there's a scene. There's a bar scene. There's a club scene. And that's always overlooked. We don't really talk about it much, but a lot of these people live within that scene. They don't have a hard time mating and dating. That's easy. That's crazy. I do not miss that bull jab. That's college behavior. I ain't, I got all that out of my system. You you would have to pay me <laughs> to end up in somebody's club or something. That's the only way. Put bread. You got to be bread involved. I'm not going to nobody's club or bar. I see uh, my guy Project Leroy say she had the wall. She ain't at the wall yet. She got she got more room. It's mm -hmm. near. It's inevitable, but mm -hmm. nah. You had the wall. You ain't got no options. She got plenty of options. There you go. Shout out to the heathen queen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she gonna get what she want to heck with what her son got going on to heck with everybody else. This is narcissistic hyenas. They want what they want. And that's why they so proud and boisterous. She's like, I'm going to keep getting the weenie I desire. Ain't thinking about marriage. None of that. As long as I get the ride and fancy cars and maybe get a little trinkets here and there and and good meat clashing. 
and and, and a have- woman like her, she come up on the Kendra show just to cast a bigger net. Like I said, she don't have a, she can go to the bar seven days a week and get a man of means to come home with her, but he leaving in the morning. So go. that's just gonna be her life story. So that's that's the option she has. She don't have any options as far as you know marriage, but we gotta call a spade a spade. Them guys are coming there, hunch on her. They're gonna leave some money on the dresser. They're gonna pay her bills, and that's why in the beginning we said she ain't got no job. Hell no, that's her job, her body. Yes, that's why she can hustle and have little boutiques and pop up stores. Yeah, with a whole kid, because somebody making sure the rent is paid, Cardinal paid. This is not a joke. They they don't they're not making skits about this stuff for no reason. It's a real thing. There are traitors amongst us. And she gonna keep doing this until one of you sympathetic brothers save her. How's it gonna happen? She gonna end one of her meat clashing situationships with one of these ballers and and some pathetic ninja gonna catch her she gonna be all down and she gonna be complaining to him about how he done raked her over the coals and all this and left there and his goofy cook host up like sorry babe it's all right he don't deserve you he don't deserve you she's still gonna gonna be some young fool like you said if y'all caught the regal rumble last night shout out to the girl drea and you get these women, and they're getting their 30, 40 years old. Ain't nothing off the table. Ain't no man with common sense going to come in here, and I hope not. But come on, we ain't. Like I said, y'all can cap if y'all want to. Y'all clashing cheeks. There's too many men falling victim to women like this. Come on. Is. And that's why I say this cap. Yeah, I'm not saying y'all will pursue her, but I'm saying. I you. am. They would. <laughs> they absolutely would. Like you said, we ain't about to sit up here and cap. If y'all was in the bar, y'all would be pursuing. Y'all would send her a drink. You would invite her into your section. You would take her home. But that's where it ends. But we are not going to see her act like that ain't her reality. Mm. Y'all got to stop lying to me because I'll be believing y'all. Don't do that. I don't like that. Y'all, <laughs> so y'all go, y'all say, y'all act like y'all won't pursue her, but y'all really will. Yeah, I'm, I'm believing that. Can't stand. Don't be lying to me. <laughs> like I said, it ain't much, nothing fulfilling, unless one of you sympathetic brothers come save her. But like I said, don't, don't, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Please. Because that's the crazy part. I think a lot of times we get in these chats, and y'all got to understand, this can be a bit of an echo chamber. We are all sort of like-minded men. But mm-hmm. there's 437 people in here, probably less than 400 men. All right, it's less than 400 men in here. We are not speaking for every man. If y'all think somebody won't go in there and not using a common sense and end up knocking her up or something goofy, huh. very likely. I'm telling you that we didn't seen it way too much. And yeah, we ain't up here covering no tracks. We understand the nature of a man. Especially when y'all get drunk or whatever, not drunk. Let me stop. Fully sober. <laughs> Fully sober and horned up. Y'all gonna give her dang, anything she requests. Yeah, stop the captivity. So here we go. We got cash apps here. Shout out to Got Batty. We got Got Batty. Mm-hmm. She said a moderator put me in timeout. I don't know why. Who put I didn't she know. go? She back <laughs> in. Got baddie. Listen, if y'all don't stop putting stop putting women in timeout, first and foremost. Cause they see like, yeah, we don't it seems like we're doing this at least once a week. Yeah. We're gonna have to go in and start taking y'all wrenches. And that's the last thing we want to do. Here we but go. If y'all, if, if y'all don't want to wrench, just raise your hand in the chat. We'll come take it. There you go. There you that part. Golly. Who did it? Fess up to it. Get some honor. Bring honor back to your name. Don, Don, stop timing people out. If she did not do anything egregious, don't time her out, bro. Real talk. Like, enough is enough. She did something worthy of it, granted. But these people are supporting the show. They sending bread. Do not put them in time out or y'all will not have a wrench. And that goes for everybody. There we go. Thank you, family. Y'all crazy. That's why I say crazy rambunctious. But we love y'all. So here we go. 
Shout out to Flo, the Raging Bull. Says she is for weekend rental only. Concur. Shout out to Mr. Mr. Always supporting his interest. Says I would not pursue her, but if she slid through my spot, the meat shall not go unclashed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we got a cash up from the mass man. Says she did make me ten tingle down there. Ha <laughs> ha. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Any straight man, if you're a straight man, you ain't tingle, you're lying. There you go. <laughs> but here we go. We got some madness. All right. This is the feature. This might be one of the craziest Kendra callers I can recall. I know we haven't seen a lot, but this. This is tops. Let me see if we can catch. This is tops. <laughs> this is tops. Hit the like button. This woman. Here we go. Okay. All right. Jesus, read. You got any kids? Yes, I have six. Also, this is hundred dollar match play, folks. We about to cook six kids. I just heard it. God dang it. Arnell from Salisbury, Maryland. How old are you? I am thirty-three. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? Jesus, every do you got any kids? Yes, I have six. God <laughs> damn! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm recently divorced. So. Okay. 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 You got six kids. Um, recently divorced. Mm-hmm. Okay. How many baby daddies you got? Two. Okay. Okay. Let's do the breakdown. How many? How does this work? Four, What's the ages of your kids? Fourteen. 13, mm-hmm. 10, 8, 7, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and 5. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, you've been, you've been pregnant. <laughs> you've been pregnant two decades. You have been pregnant for two decades. 5, 7, 8, 10, 13, 14. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We know what happens in Salisbury, Maryland now. I know what you're doing in Salisbury. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> it happened in between. It happened that, okay. in between kids. I drove tractor trailer for six years, so in between those home visits. Okay, okay, I get it. I get. Look, I, I'm not here to judge. I can't judge nobody. <laughs> All right. So you got two baby days. Who 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 belongs to two? So your your husband you divorced from. How long? How long ago? Have you, how long have you been? Divorced? I've been legally divorced since October, but we haven't been together the last two years. Legally divorced since mm-hmm. October 2023. Okay, and which ones is his kid? Um, everyone except for my, my oldest, my 14 year old. Okay, mm-hmm. so five are with him. Okay, so 13 through five mm-hmm. is with him. And then 14. Y'all don't want to work it out? Y'all got all these kids? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I got tired of finding women in my house. Uh-uh. I'm good. So that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, so this is just a mm-hmm. question. When did you know things weren't going to work? By which child? Um, I'm going to say by, uh, like, my fourth daughter. So he was a good stand-up citizen until the fourth daughter. I thought he was. Everything started coming out after my fourth daughter. Okay, everything came yeah. out after your fourth daughter. Okay. And then you said, then you had another one. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we need a home All right. <laughs> In between uh, the home visits. Oh, yeah. So we we, okay. we both are truckers, truck drivers. Oh, you can't trust you, you can't trust truck driver. You know that. He probably couldn't trust. Listen, you. he could trust me. I'm just, I'm messing with you. I'm just joking. All right, all right. So you have been married, recently divorced. This is Charnel out of Salisbury, Maryland. She's 33. She has six kids. Two baby daddies, but five with her husband that she was just with. All right. What type of man you looking for? I'm just the one who's honest, um, loyal. I don't like smokers um, or drinkers. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Someone who's open to conversation um, that can express the way that they feel, because I believe that conversation um, is important and communication with understanding is also important. That is very important. Do we got to look a certain um, Just nice looking. 
What's that mean? He can't be ugly. You gotta give me something to look at now. <laughs> I don't wanna feel like I gotta put you a brown bag over your face. She got six kids, six kids, and she's still up here talking about looks. In the heathen queen, you say, what's the reason for the marriage rates going from 80% to 20%? And I told you, Miss Heathen Queen, even she was up here, man, got to look good, got to be tall, got to have all the money. Even this woman said... <laughs> It never ends. Is T up here living this wild truck driver life? How are they having all these kids and her and her man was truck drivers? My word. Um, and they went together. Like he got most well, he got his own deal, she got her own deal, and they both on the road different times. And she said they broke up because she got tired of coming home and finding women in her house. Let's keep it a buck. It ain't like she's like, hey, babe, I'm on the road. I'll be home tomorrow. No. She's like, hey, babe, I'm in Texas. I won't be home for another couple of days. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, she rounded in the block. And he's like, all right. He's like, come on, babe. And she's like, hey, babe, I'm home early. Oh. <laughs> uh, Alyssa, she ain't done. She about to get real granular. I know. The game is sick. Print. I'm here for it. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have to make a certain amount? Um, I'm going to say at least um, 70K a year. Let me ask you this. Do you do you want to be married again? You know, being that you recently just got divorced, you got five kids, no. this other guy. Do you want to be married? So you're not looking for a, a I mean, marriage? I just don't see it right now. Okay. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Make at least 70K. What are your deal breakers? Um, Like I said, smokers drinkers and liars smokers mm -hmm. drinkers and liars did he have a smoking drinking problem no i just i grew up in church i don't smoke and i don't drink so i don't want i don't want to be around it so you don't want them to smoke or drink at no. all <laughs> okay so, so you want to sober pretty man. much okay all right okay all right uh what age right? um I'm going to say 35 to 40. 35 to 40. Okay. I ain't going to lie. You're going to have to drink a little bit to, take, to deal with five, six kids. I ain't going to lie. You're going to have to smoke and drink just a little bit. Them kids going to be making all that goddamn money. <laughs> My kids. You got to hit salt. You got to hit sweet. You got it. So you, 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 you raised it. Six kids. So all girls. All girls. All girls. <laughs> all girl, all, oh, yeah. You got to drink, smoke, smoke a lie, pop a pill. <laughs> Something like Coke. I don't even drink soda. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Smoke some. Okay. Uh, I had to get that. Don't do that, Zach. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> All right. Uh, would you date somebody long distance? No. Okay. No long distance. So you want somebody um, in South Bay? I'm not going to say they have to be in Salisbury, but I mean, it's a lot of nearby cities in Salisbury, like outside. Not so, Salisbury. Well, cast out, cast out a, a, a so we'll know what you consider nearby. So the, so the right people can connect with you. Okay. Um, so Delaware, so tell us. Delaware, Virginia, okay. Maryland, um, basically like the DMV, Delmarva. The DMV. Okay. So if you're in the DMV. Be you good, DC? Yes. Okay, I got you. Okay, okay, let's do the Kendra cam. It's time, it's okay. time, Shanae. Okay, do the I'm seeing it. Now. Now, you know, we can't see nothing like that. Come okay, on hold on, hold on. Let me, let me get my camera straight. Uh, okay. No, 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 I told by the arms, I knew it. There it is. Seven Kids, where? Six kids. Stop. Don't give me Okay. I'm going to say this. There it is. Some kids, where? Six kids. She like Dom said. You know, it behooves me 
that your hoes be walking around him stinking funk funk kitty cat licking ass you hear me and just got them all out those Ooh. Mm -mm. i thought this was gonna be more desirable she ain't talking about she don't smoke she don't drink she don't even drink soda that's all okay she about to be fit as a fiddle she don't drink soda smoke but she, she has eat. six kids you talking <laughs> about fit as a fiddle yeah she up here talking like she all uh, healthy and holistic she well for six kids that's that. probably as about as healthy as you're gonna be with six kids unless you crack fit you know we've seen that a couple times but yeah and she got six daughters y'all a man coming into this six girls what are we talking about Ooh. yeah that's why zach said you gotta be drinking smoking snorting something and yeah, good luck it's a lot of testosterone i mean not godly a lot of estrogen <laughs> so here we go she about to get into it i think zach's gonna ask her why her and her husband split and then it's all downhill oh boy there it is some kids where six kids i'm sorry Don't six give kids me where? <laughs> i almost gave you one once you had i ain't gonna lie once you got six you got seven no nah, i'm good ain't no difference. <laughs> okay there we go um you don't have to answer this but when's the last time you were answering me on somebody skip i'll, I'll pass <laughs> okay now, was it recent you know what Kendra always say that you don't have to answer. I, I, I want you to. Answer. I'm gonna say last week. Yeah. Last week. All right, now See? you strapping up. Absolutely, no more babies over here. I'm a college student. All right. I ain't got time. I know that's right. I know that's right. All right. Um, why is that uh, personal option? She gonna say uh, no more babies. I'm a college student. <laughs> Stop lying. Why you lying, ho? Stop. Lying. Stop lying. Oh my God. Unreal. That ain't real. <laughs> Last week. And then like I'm like, oh you're nasty. They say, like, no, nah, yeah, we hooked up because I'm in college. I'm a grown college student. Tr grown mama six truck driving, meat clashing college student. Gray hair. We hear it now. We hear it. This is bad. I'm afraid to hit play because it's about to get so much worse. Like, it's kind of modest, right? Six kids. Hold on. What dime at? We ain't do the infamous drop. There's no way you can come up here with six or more kids and escape the drop, sister. Holy hell. You almost got us. <laughs> Hold on. Because <laughs> two things is true. We off base sometimes. We make sure I still got the drop. <laughs> oh boy I might not have it folks she might look she might look out <laughs> probably not but she might because woman come up here with six kids <laughs> y'all know the drop <laughs> I she, might, she might look out she might have looked out tonight mm, mm, mm. lucky all right Bonquisha God is on your side right now that's amazing. Oh, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. You see that? Here we go. But I know I got six children. Sure do. So that tell you that this cooter collar was good. It was real good. It was mm -mm good. Finger licking good. You hear me? Go get you what you want. <laughs> I love it. Go get you what you want. I live by, <laughs> by Diamond's Creed. Present the world with your best self and go get you what you want. Stop whining and complaining. Sure. <laughs> Six kids. Good coup de cotta. Here we go. Good. Um, I don't know yet. What you mean? I mean, I don't know. Y'all just started talking? I mean, something like that. Was it just a fling? No, it's not just a fling. We've been talking for a little bit. We're just still trying to figure it out. I don't know. I'm just looking my options. Okay. You keep your options. So, okay, okay. Um, what would you say is your three flaws? Uh, liars. <laughs> um, okay, liars. Yes, liars. I know. I said, what are oh. your, no, what are oh. your three flaws? The, th the three things um, that you need to work on. I talk a lot. 
Um, I do have a habit of talking over the person um, sometimes and don't give them the opportunity to finish saying what they're saying because I want you to hear what I have to say. Um, and then I'm going to say working so much. Well, that's two because you use talking for two of them. Okay, well. <laughs> you said you talk a lot and then you said you talk over people. No, that's, okay, so what I mean, talk thing. a lot, I mean like talk a lot as far as conversation wise go on and on and on. But um, as far as me talking over you, it's just like I don't give the other person the opportunity to finish saying what they're saying. Like I'll just cut them off. And I, get, I get that, sweetheart. Sweetheart, that's still the same <laughs> damn thing. It's just in a different form. Okay, well, I'm going to have three. It's still talking. Yeah, it's just in a different scenario of talk. You know okay. Yeah. I know I'm, I'm not talking. You know what I'm saying? Why are you trying? To, I'm a smart dude. Like, you can't pull that on me. You can pull that on your trucker friends. Don't do that. But, no. Okay. Talkative, work too much, and what? Um, I'm going to say procrastinate sometimes when it comes to taking me time. I'm definitely going to say that. Okay. There it is. Uh, why do you think you say I choose to be? Um, I'm single because I choose to be single because I haven't really met the right one. I know that six kids is a lot, but at the same time, I just I just really want to take my time because, like I said, I have all girls. You choose to be mm -hmm. single. So, all right, what are you looking for then? If you if you want to be single, do you want to be in a relationship? I mean, or you just want a little. Yeah, I do want to be in a. Blame, I do but... want to be in a relationship. Um, but I just haven't really come across anybody really that I'm that interested in to really take it that far because I, I'm just now getting back out in the dating scene. I wanted to wait until my divorce was absolutely legal because he fought me on it for two years. He oh, wanted to stay with you? Yeah, it was a whole two-year process. It was, he, dra he drug it out. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, so you, you, was, so you sure you don't want to go back? I am positive, honey, baby. I cannot do it. <laughs> What what do you do? What do you do? To you? I mean, he was bringing women in my house. <laughs> what do you mean? You my him? oldest. Did you catch my him? oldest two caught him with the first woman? So what? Yo, so your oldest two came in the house and he was in there with yep. another woman. Was he in the? Oh house? yes. Oh. Oh, oh they of course. <laughs> I'm their mama. No, I have to pay them kids. I, 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 <laughs> whatever you do, don't pay your mama. I buy y'all whatever. Did not tell your mom. So the oldest two came home. They must have came home from school. They were like, mommy. No, they were like, mommy, daddy's in there looking a lady between her legs. I said, oh, God. And that was it. How old was they? Um, this they was two that? years ago. So they were 11 and 12. So they, 11, they said daddy in there doing what? Between the lady between her legs. <laughs> oh, he was eating cookie. <laughs> <laughs> it's all funny games. That it's all funny games. He was getting his face dirty, folks. Open your mouth and give God, give God, give, 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 give to the giver, give God. She said both of her daughters caught their daddy munching on kudakata. They caught say they called her up, Ma. We caught daddy back there munching on kudakata. And it and it wasn't yours. This is crazy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Like that's a normal happening. Can we talk about the 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 trauma? You know, what is trauma? Trauma are terrible instances we must look back on life to where there is no lesson. All right. It's just hurt. So these young daughters, they're like, dang, we done saw daddy in there getting his face out there. They didn't get to call mama. Mama came home with the 357, waving it around, up the pole on daddy. Tell the whole truth, Bone Quisha. This was not civilized. It got real, real wild. Y'all truck drivers. Y'all handsome boys. It got real, real active up in there. Okay. Mm. Face dirty. Noted. Oh, here we go. She ain't done. 
we get these super chats and she gonna land the plane of all planes all right y'all thought that was the end of it it really ain't uh -huh. oh, so here we go hit the like button hit the like button before we do anything um let me get these stream mm -hmm. yard and stream yard tonight they said uh, why, go to her, why go to the house see uh Con, did you? I why well, go to the house? I agree. Something's up. Why would he take Randall's back to the crib? Like I said, some sneaky. Everybody sneaking and sneaking. The kids sneaking. The mom sneaking. They all sneaking. <laughs> Appreciate you, Tracy Ann. Come through, support sister. She said, "I did it. It was my first and not my last." What are you talking about, Tracy? Ann? Appreciate you though. Shout out to Divine Photos. Says, let me rant so these chicks come on here and mess and expect men to have it together while they are mentally unstable. What the F? You six for two. Demands? Apples? Huh. <laughs> Appreciate you, B. Wyatt. He says, what are the ages of these kids again? So, it don't even matter at all. Appreciate you, Tracy Head. She says, last week, just imagine spring break. Straight pound town. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> Appreciate your project, Leroy. He said, let Bernie Mac tell her what she can get out you. Man. You ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You get what I give you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate your squeegee kid, the stack goat. He says, see why just appearing on Kendra is an automatic disqualification from any quality man. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Bombshells. Cook here bomb, Quisha. Scurves. <laughs> Take it back one second. Yeah, they laughing and joking. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. You caught him eating. <laughs> That's crazy. So I just said, baby, just close the door. It's all right. Mommy will handle it. So then when I got home, he asked me, what was I What was I in the room for? So I was just like, okay. You know, I just shut the door. I didn't want him. I just shut the door like it was nothing. I said, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and file for this divorce. It was it was a wrap after that. So, so when, you, when, when you came home, when you came home, he was still there? Yeah. I mean, it was only like 10 With minutes. It was 10 minutes later. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, once he, he didn't stop once he saw the Absolutely kid. not. <laughs> he continued eating coochie. That's what you call a dirty dog. <laughs> That's dirty. He was like, oh. It was, it was, it was terrible. You it was up. terrible because my kids are going to remember that, you know, for the rest of their lives. That's trauma, you know. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's that, Look. Hey. City boy. Hold on. City boy. Listen. The kids walked in. She walked in. Everybody walking in. Nug Nug look back. He just back there. That's all she care about. Cannon pump and pump. Cannon pump and pump. Oh my God. Yeah. Nug yeah. Nug this, this is too much. This is too much. She this is she much came too much. Home, Mr. Walker. He <laughs> came home. He was still back in the bedroom with this woman. She said, hell, I was only 10 minutes away. I came home. He was still back there humping and pumping. She said, he said, did he stop? She was like, hell to the no. Hell to the no. <laughs> to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. I, I'm going to go out on a limb. Oh. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I don't know no brother's behaving so reckless like that. That's how you mess around and get straight up deleted up out of here. Don't think that's smart. I'm going to go on a limb and say, I don't think it ain't wise, but he was trying to get revenge of some sort. If he like you about to eat this, I y'all gonna see this go down. I must assume that she didn't handed that brother a black pill where he like you gonna I ain't gonna stop. You gotta eat this. Or it wasn't his first. It. This woman got six kids, so we ain't like he. It ain't like she's of any worth. She's getting what she's pretty much deserved. And it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's uh, it's truly unfortunate when you got six kids in the dating market. This is how you get treated out here. There you go. Straight disrespect, utter gross disrespect. But again, yeah, we get what we get, man. And I would well, I'm which I want to hear a side of the story. I do. 
I, it would be nice because, yeah, this, this side is very lopsided. And it sounds why I can't even picture it. Is these his kids? Them must not be his daughters. I don't know what's going on. Like, them ain't his kids? He just hunting in front of everybody. More than likely not. Maybe one of them. Maybe, like, the young baby. But she said these was the older kids. See, so the older they, kids probably ain't his. And, oh, he ain't dear. care. Oh, he ain't dear. care. He's like, whatever. Like, this is what it is. You a truck driver? Yes. Yeah, that's why I said. As soon as they said they both was truck driver, I said, it's over. Mm. You, ain't got, you ain't got that in you. Don't hit land your plane, Bonquisha. That's trauma. That is trauma. Especially if they get old. Now they're gonna know exactly what he was doing to as they get older. So did you so you rushed home? No, I was already on my way home. Oh, you was already on the way. You put a little extra gas on it. I know you put a little extra No, gas because on. I had suspicion, yeah. but I already didn't want them and I was already in the process of moving. Mm. So because I got a divorce. Deep. Do you feel like it was already over? Yeah, definitely. Okay, man, that's tough. So that was only that was the one time you called. Did you you catch him many times after that? Huh? Did you catch him any any uh body? Did you yeah. catch him any time after that? Yeah, <laughs> I you did. did. You caught him, so you had to get him for eating the coochie. Then I did, he came back. I didn't want him. Mentally and emotionally, I was done. So I didn't care about anything after that. How'd you catch him the second <laughs> Same time? Same thing in my house. He keep going back to the house? I was moving out. What's the deal? Yeah. <sighs> he got a chance. Stressing me out. Find some, and you hear the truck driver. I know they got the beds on the trucks. Where you going? Oh yeah, get the kid. I know you got like it. Oh man. Damn, we lost her. No, come back. <laughs> so Ball Quisha. Oh. Drumming my pain with the finger. Singing my life with the world. Killing me softly with a song. Killing me. Softly with her song. What's what, what's going on? Yeah, she talking about she was leaving. So, like, here's the thing, man. It was a lot. Yeah, this was a wild situation. Ship. This wasn't no real relationship. They acting like this. This was her house. She leaving. She coming back trying to get the last of her belongings, and he's hunching again. <laughs> What the heck? And I see people in the chat. They were saying, you know, she cheated. Perhaps this is, she got six kids. I don't think y'all hear what I'm saying. <laughs> this ain't the damn Brady bunch. This is Bonquisha in the ghetto with six children. The nigger tree is so powerful. None of this. Yeah, she could have been cheating. He cheat. I mean, what are we talking about? Cheating they ain't even together. Ain't nobody cheating. They just doing whatever they want to do. There you go. That part. And that's why she wasn't even mad. She's like, yeah, I'm just going to get divorced. I know. Yeah, she out on the road. There is no commitment or loyalty in none of this. Yeah, it's allowed to be random STDs passed around. Y'all know the vibes with these type of situationships. It ain't what they make it seem when they say marriage. No, stop. Yeah, she up here. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice. And now, truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, mm. We're just going to put her in the sub. We're just going to put yeah. her in the sub. Please. Please. Ooh. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. Like we made that little thing with the submarine a while ago. 
And now you look at all those images on there. We weren't wrong for putting them in the sub. All of those images, Ebony K, Blue Faces, Baby Mama, they still in the sub. <laughs> so, Carl. yeah, that part. This was rough. This was a rough night, y'all. Y'all see how dark it can get. See how dark it can get when y'all intertwine. That was, was that not couples goals? Huh? There we go. We got two bosses, two uh, CDL truck drivers. That's goals, right? Y'all love that. All y'all women men driving trucks. What else could y'all ask for, right? Wrong. Look how that worked out. Y'all ain't never heard such horrors. That woman had to come home twice. No, we're going we're gonna to take her story at face value. That poor woman, that poor mother of six, she had to come home off the road and her poor daughters seen whoever they did, <laughs> they stepdaddy and their bunch of random cooter cata. Do y'all want to live through that? Then the mom came home. Yeah, I, see, and, I see people say they think she lying. I don't think she capping. Look at her. Y'all see the dust on the screen? <laughs> she she was standing there at the doorway with her two kids holding their heads, and he just slurping. <laughs> so, and my guy Squeegee Kid come through with the $2. He says, Maury, the lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> it's just funky. It's just it's funky, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. A lot of us is far removed from the hood. Y'all can't even fathom this happening, but yeah, I, I wasn't detecting lies. <laughs> now, was yeah. she cheating too? I don't think she was telling the full story. Yeah. She didn't tell her I, side, but y'all think she was lying at the at here's the thing at the most some exaggerations, but like Gab said, it's really real out here. Uh, I don't even think that. I'm looking <laughs> at that woman, I'm looking at her, I'm judging everything based off her. I'm looking at her, her situation. I believe it all. <laughs> uh, she about down as bad as it gets. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Shout out to Tracy Ann. She says it was God stopping her lies. <laughs> y'all don't believe that woman, huh? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> Who's the master says yes, put her, her lies in the sub. <laughs> they ain't believe me. And Skitty Boy says, All right, fellas, we go. What you got? We go. We got Wigonometry or triple six mafia. Ooh. Ooh. No, wigonometry. Yeah, triple six. She in the no wigonometry. Good show. Yeah, that triple six woman. Y'all gotta understand. Some of the, you got women out here, beautiful women, IG models, no children. They getting cheated on. This woman got six kids and she dusty <laughs> and stank. Ain't no, ain't nobody trying to be discreet, get no hotel, none of that. I just huh. Dang, it's what utter disrespect, and, and it, there you go. And that's why she had the attitude. You were here, right, Gavin? Because I'm like, why is she so cool and calm and collected, whether she wanted the guy or not? But women don't move like that, they ain't taking that. Like, she was like, I know what this is, I know how this been going, I know how this been trending. So when she came in there, she heard that she said, I didn't even hit the gas. She said, I know what it And she was. said it wasn't the first time. This seemed like something that was a gateway and it snowballed. Like it started off with him on the front porch getting a hand job. Then he got caught in the car at Applebee's getting some gok gok. Then he, you know what I mean? It just started building up. And he was like, hell, she don't care. I'm going to start bringing y'all in the house. Maybe. Maybe she'll join since she seems so nonchalant about it all. And she was, she's had walked in saying, oh, I'm gonna sign the papers. You don't hear Inku the cat. Okay. Then she says she moving her stuff out. She go and knock on the door. Okay, I'm getting the rest of my stuff. And he just, <laughs> he like, come get it. I'm busy. I can't help you right now. <laughs> so that part, yeah, I don't get to no that woman. As far as that, I don't know about all she was saying, but as far as that, no, I've heard, I've heard and seen it. I've seen stuff like that. I've heard stuff like that. I know people like that. Hmm. So, yeah. yeah, we can't sit up here and listen. We ain't about to sit up here and advocate for Nug Nug. We done said it too many times. That part, yeah. Yeah, there we yeah, go. That's, that's, like, yeah. that's like what we're doing. Almost like he's the Queen Crystal and them, we, like they defend the 304s. We are not defending Nug Nug under no. any. Yeah, that's marriage or not. That was a Nug Nug. 
marriage or not. Yeah, you in there clapping cheeks, eating cool, kind of friend of the babies, things of that sort. No, I don't care if he was making quarter million dollars. Use a nug nug making quarter million dollars eating random cuda cat in front of the babies. Shame. So, so rough. It's rough. <laughs> Feel bad for the kids. That'd be about it. They don't care. I didn't I didn't realize that the whole movement of F them kids was real. I thought y'all was joking, but y'all serious about the F them kids. Do y'all not realize when y'all say F the kids, y'all saying pretty much F the future? Like y'all some selfish mamma jammas. Just F everything but my F everything but me. Shout out to the bone quishas and hyenas. It's all about them. I, me, I need to be submerged in my feminine soft girl life. I need to self-love. Me, me, my, me, me. It's insanely selfish. When it's and over and we trying to put, you know, people by, oh, she just need a little therapy. She just need this. She just need that. No, she don't. She need to get thrown in the sub like we did and cast away yes can't save her what you gonna do and that's what i'm trying to tell the sister crystal some of these sisters and nug nugs ain't even worth the breath turn your back to them they got to eat that and they got to deal with what they've been doing i ain't got, I don't feel bad for them at all so here we go folks that was the show all right i'm dropping the link in the chat right now for the cart before the horse channel head over there Catch last night's stream, absolute classic. Crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. Yeah, uh, shout out to Crystal. Me and Crystal gonna start our own channel called uh, uh, Rabbit Holes. <laughs> huh. Yeah, yeah it's hard to stay on track. That's why them shows be so long. You know, they can veer off in different directions, but uh, try to try to do a good job of keeping them on track. There we go. Try. Trap too. It was a great show. I think that was a that was a real good show last night. A lot of passion per usual. Good back and forth. You know. Shout out to the trolls. You know, <laughs> Mr. Walker got I got love for the trolls. Also, we got a cash app here. Shout out to Gone Postal twenty eight in the chat. Gone Postal come through with five dollars. Says salute to you brothers cooking up. We appreciate you. Appreciate we appreciate you. all y'all for coming through tonight. Make sure y'all hit the like button on your way out. Make sure you are subscribed to the Single by Choice channel and the Carpet for the Horse channel. Links in the chat. Head over, check out the Regal Rumble from last night. Like I said, you don't want to miss that. <laughs> As they were saying in the chat, you might want to take it in in bits and pieces. That boy, seven hours long. <laughs> I love it. One day we might do a 12-hour extravaganza. How about that? <laughs> Yeah, that's something you take in, like I said, chop it up. Or who knows, depending on what kind of work you do, that might get you, get you through a full work day, you know? So, so it's a whole work day, seven hours with, with a paid hour lunch break. You're welcome, ladies and gents. And we happy to be here. Y'all the best chat, best supporters. Y'all walking like y'all talking. Y'all always support your interests. That's why we're here. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you for hitting the cash app. Thanks for buying merch. Thanks for the super chats. Thank you. Thank you for the memberships. The gift that keeps on giving. We appreciate you guys. Also, shout out to Steven. Uh, Steven got gear on the way. Steven and Ronald. So Steven and Ronald, be on the lookout for your gear. Exactly. Also, shout out to the show sponsors. Q, what it do? Oh, that was, no, no. That was last night, Regal Rumble, Q, what it do? Where Q at? Was he here tonight? Shout out to Theo Coop, the Do Better Podcast. Make sure y'all head over and subscribe to Theo. Shout out to Scrooge McDuckton. The Duckin. <laughs> McDuckerton. It's McDuckerton. <laughs> Scrooge McDuckerton and Sago 1000. Yeah, big shout out to Sago. Came through with that hundred ball. Appreciate you, brother. So here we go. We appreciate everybody in the chat. Make sure y'all hit the like button on your way out. Head over to the Cart for the Horse channel. We'll be back up here next week. Set your notifications. We are up here for Single by Choices every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Uh, Regal Rumble Saturday. Be on the lookout for the next installment of Ladies Nights this week. I want to say it's Wednesday. This Wednesday, be on the lookout for the next installment of that. Be on the lookout for a live show coming soon. And we moving. Oh my. There we go. Coming at y'all. 
Where we at? Five days a week now? Beautiful thing. Happy to be here. So with that being said, hit the like button on your way out. We appreciate y'all for being here. I am Gavin X. I am Mr. Walker. And we are Carpet Foot Horse Productions. Good morning.